case you missed it with read the hard way. Hey, this is Three the Hard Way, the best podcast you've never listened to. I am your humble host, Mr. John Laurie. With me, as always, is DJ Old School Chad. Wiggy, wiggy, what up? <laughs> <laughs> well, I threw him there for a minute. I'm sorry. DJ Old School Mike. Wiggy, wiggy, what up? <laughs> and Mr. Chad, Arier, Arier, Arier. Close I, enough. A little behind the scenes magic. I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> Naps are hard. They are hard. We're old. What's going on, guys? Feel like it's been you now at least five days. Uh, it probably has. Um, I had a awesome uh, adventure. I, oh, uh... <laughs> he, he was raring to go with this story, Jeff. He had it oh, yeah. locked and loaded. I super good. No, really, it's a. I, I take the dog. You know, Ahsoka is super high shrunk, mm -hmm. and she's all muscle. So I take her for runs, only I'm a fat ass and I don't like to run yeah. with my legs. So I let her haul me around on my skateboard. There you go. And over the course of a couple of weeks, we've been building speed and building speed and building speed <laughs> to the point where I was like, you want to go? Let's go, fucker. And we went and I'm cruising and I hit a fucking pebble and I ate shit. Yeah, she kept going and... Uh, she actually is. She actually stopped because she heard evidently like most of the neighborhood uh, heard. Uh, fuck, fuck, <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god! And and I get up and I I look down and I'm like, fuck, man! I tore the whole like the whole top of my shoe, skateboarding shoes, Nike SBs, whole top of the shoes all fucking torn out from where I scraped on the ground. My knees all bloody. My whole leg from like mid thigh down is swollen. Only, I don't realize that I'm bleeding like like a murder victim though because I'm looking down and then all of a sudden I just see drips of blood falling and like it got my elbow no oh. and that just proceeded to pour down my arm like I was from fucking evil dead or something nice there's some poor little I was gonna say old lady but she's probably younger than I am I don't know <laughs> She's she's in her car and, and I got my headphones in, so I take them out and I'm like, motherfucker, I can't believe this. Thank you, Ahsoka, for not running away. Because she's just sitting there like, what happened? <laughs> what do we do now? <laughs> and uh, that's a good trick, Dad. Exactly, exactly. And this lady's like, oh my god, are you okay? Do you need a ride? Do you need an ambulance? Do you need a napkin? And I'm like, why the fuck would I need a napkin? And then I look down and I realize I'm bleeding like a murder scene. I was like, no, no, I'm good. We're just going to go home. Hopped right back on the skateboard, had the dog haul my ass home. This happens all the time. When you're 17. <laughs> never never had a dog at 17. That, that's true. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, well, I don't... It, uh, it, I, makes for, it makes for a decent story. It, it was does. It was, awesome. It was it a really, decent story. It really doesn't feel awesome still. Well, don't you have bionic knees now? No, nah, man, I don't, I, no, that's the, yeah. nah, probably, thankfully, I don't have bionic knees yeah. or else I might have done damage that would have cost bionic part. Bionically. Cost, yes, yeah. Don't need that. Wow. So what'd you guys do? After that, I just did yard work. Oh, uh, yeah, that's all I did this weekend. Uh, well, I finally finished cleaning my garage. Um, I... I didn't do anything that I can think of. Anything. Jesus. Yeah. You still asleep? No, I'm awake. <laughs> uh, I am uh, drinking from the uh, number one super fan left beer at my house collection this evening. Huh? Yeah. yeah. You I know what? Uh, you remember when High Life, uh, they, they came out with the champagne size bottles of those? Mm-hmm. Just maybe a year ago, because they're the uh, champagne of beers. Right? They are the yeah. champagne of beers, apparently. Those those cost. Uh, I think that I don't know what the hell they were charging, like twelve or thirteen dollars for one of those. Probably less because you can get a six pack for like three ninety nine. So. Of the champagne size? Uh, no, of the regular. Well, that's what I'm so, saying. But yeah. the champagne ones were a limited release, so yeah. whatever they were charging, ten bucks or more or whatever. Right. Uh, the bar that my sister was uh, running in Denver. Uh, before they actually hit the shelves and hit mainstream, they were serving them table side service in a bucket with champagne glasses. 
for like 25 bucks. Like Chris and people And people were eating it up. The friggin' Denver <sighs> hipsters, man. Uh, ah, whatever. It's, it's good beer. I mean. Was it weed infused? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just sitting out in the open in Denver, it becomes yeah, weed infused. Weed infused, there you go. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think if I did anything cool this weekend. That's the, key, that's the key, though, on Chad's thing there. There's so much weed in the air, and everyone has such a yeah. contact high that they're like, I'll pay 25 bucks for a beer <laughs> and a champagne. <laughs> like, yeah, sure. It's a good Fuck. place to good place to open a food truck. That's all I'm saying. Idiots. <laughs> oh, hey, I, I ate shit uh, last week, too. Oh, yeah? Uh, last Monday, yeah. Uh, leaving the house to go to my first call and came down my first set of stairs on the landing. Got first step on the rest of the stairs because my shoes are downstairs i was in socks ate shit down the stairs landed right on my knee so i was wearing a brace all week too so hey well, i didn't my, eat shit but my wife did this weekend oh yeah would you she, punch her oh. again <laughs> listen the first time <laughs> god damn it <laughs> uh, we walked uh we went to st louis for the weekend and uh we were walking uh she walked out of uh, a store and it's two steps, and she just saw the first one. And oh, no. It went down hard. We ended up we limped back, brought her back to the hotel, put oh. her foot up, iced her foot for a little while, and, and I took watched. a power nap, and then we went back out again. I was going to say, she watched Game of Thrones, and you went to the strip club. <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> I, I'm not a huge fan. I've never been a huge fan of St. Louis. St. Uh, Louis. St. Is- Louis? St. St. Louis. <laughs> I mean, yeah. did we just talk about Louisville? Okay, never Louisville. mind. Louisville. Yeah, but uh, I go down there occasionally. We went, we went this this uh, this past weekend because I realized Friday that uh, this last Saturday was my last Saturday off for like six months ah. because busy season's going to kick in with fireplaces and shit. So we decided last minute to go to St. Louis because mainly because my wife – has been dying to go to a restaurant down there for about oh two years. Oh, my God. I'm glad you finished that because I thought you <laughs> Mainly been, because yes. my wife's been dying. My wife's so dying. So, how, to, what's going on with you guys? She wanted, <laughs> to go to, she wanted to go to St. Louis one last time. That explains why she fell. Her body's <laughs> getting <laughs> out. Sorry, Lisa. Bad job. Sorry. Like, she's listening. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um. So we go to this restaurant that she's been little dying to go to called Twisted Ranch. <laughs> Twisted <coughs> Ranch. This place, everything on the menu is made with ranch dressing, dre- dressing, ranch dressing. They, uh, even the drinks, they like make a margarita or, or uh, everything. Like they salt the rim, but with powdered ranch. And, put, ranch they have, put ranch dressing in the Pepsi? probably a couple shots they had like 33 kinds of ranch dressing that they hand make in it we got a a appetizer sampler which was just a giant like bucket of french fries with like 13 different kinds of ranch Hmm. she was like in white girl heaven she was absolutely loving it was the ranch on the side or was it just like all intermingled on the fries like you just didn't know what you were getting oh no it was on the side you had like you had like a list and you would take take this 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 (laughs) Yeah, it was a ranch <laughs> flight. It was a ranch. It basically, it was. It was. A, you had your choice between five or. Did you find the hidden valley? <laughs> her one of her favorite ones is called. Uh, oh shit! Cabo Wabo. It was something uh, Ruffalo. Maui Wowie. And it was. It had a like, picture of Mark Mark Ruffalo. It was called <laughs> Ruffalo. Or was it green? Ranchalo? Ra- or, yeah, it was it was Buffalo Ranch and with a little garlic. <laughs> it was <laughs> Mark Buffalo. But then they had they had everything. And I was like, yeah, that's it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, give her some pumpkin spice and you know, some Uggs and that was the only flavor they were missing. And I'm sure it'll be it'll come around next month. Pumpkin ranch. Yeah. Highlight of the weekend yeah. though. You guys need to Google City Museum in St. Louis. Uh, I saw some of your stuff you put on Facebook. Dude, um, it is a 10-story building with 
through they're constantly building stuff welding and pouring concrete and doing tile and everything's interactive you're crawling in shit on uh, in it on it under it through it you're There's crawling like, in shit do they let you weld like, no, it's no, just the pe- construction. They're no, like they're, they're, people. Over they're here. always building they and adding to it. <laughs> yeah, they want it to stand. <laughs> but there, right, so, there's a there's a there's a friggin' uh, ten ten story uh, spiral slide that goes down. It was out of commission because I, I guess they're still cleaning up the blood from the last kid yes. that went through. Uh, somebody but, got murdered. <laughs> they like. We did. I did the seven story little slide. There's a Ferris wheel on top of the building. At uh-huh. one. At one point, I'm like six, six or seven stories up, and you crawl out, and now I'm uh, above the ground, and there's this big arch, and it's all like, I mean, it's just that big around, and it's just welded metal, almost like a cage, and I'm crawling, I'm behind a guy, and we're both crawling up head first, big arch, and then we get to the top, and he like, he's laying down, he spins around, puts his feet, starts going down feet first. This is this big around. I'm like, you're like, this ain't happening. Yeah, this ain't happening. <laughs> and I turn around and there's like four people behind me. I'm like, oh fuck. So I'm twisting, I'm turning, and the guy behind me is like, like waiting for me. And I'm just like, this ain't happening, dude. I hope you can turn around. And the guy behind me is just like, Shoop, and he spins around. I'm like, you skinny bastard. And I just, I laid on my stomach. <laughs> going down you empty into a cage and there's like five other people standing in there and they're like oh my god you could dude you're gonna be all right dude hey somebody catch him hey the, dude you need an arm and i'm like i'm fine leave me alone and fat my, spider-man was fat, fat spider-man spider i was spider pig <laughs> on the ceiling <laughs> at, at least you didn't at least it wasn't like enough of like a downward arc. <laughs> like it goes all the like way like a, that by the end. Like a fucking dude, torpedo. <laughs> dude, it was like this at the end. And I was going, I was laying, it was enough that I was laying on my back, but I had my, my hands holding and my feet holding and I was going down just enough and then spun out the bottom. They cheered. They're like, he did it. Did you see, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the whole class clapped. <laughs> That's awesome. The place is cool as hell. Uh, that's cool. Well, yeah, everybody look that up. Maybe we'll put it in show notes. Um, yeah, I um, yeah. Besides eating shit down the stairs and uh, having to switch around service calls, so I didn't have to crawl into any shitty crawl spaces for a few days because I, I in my like first I, I can't do it. Yeah, like my second call that day, I was like, I looked at it and I went, Yeah, that's not gonna happen because I knew where I knew the guy's house and I knew where the unit was, and I was like. Mm-mm. It's just not going to happen. You were like Chad in a fucking tube. Yeah, Chad in a tube. <laughs> you were like, this is not happening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's, I, I remember doing eight VAC service calls, and I learned the hard way to never, whenever somebody says, are you allergic to cats? The answer is always yes. <laughs> it is always yes. Yeah. Never say no. We don't have cat ladies here. We had them in Florida. but oh, um, Everywhere has cat ladies. Come mm-hmm. on. Man, I'm, I've never come across a cat lady up here. Because he uh, lives in the mountains. A ton of hoarders. Because the bears eat them. Yeah. yeah. The bears <laughs> eat the cats. They're bears, just lonesome cat ladies. Bears are omnivores. My, my sis, my, when my sister moved to Colorado, she said uh, I took her cat because she was like, yeah, it, it's cougar bait if, you know, if she gets out. Well, we don't have any cougars here. Well, there's reports of a panther, but I don't know. Is it black? I don't know. Does it jump around on cars? What's that all about? Black oh, Panther, dude. Come on. You are I, tired. I, ne- <laughs> I never I never freeze. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I am not man, understanding your comic reference that yeah. I am. What does your damage mic speak plain? <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight I am drinking Tangled Roots IPA. Delicious, uh, delicious after, local after you brew. Got your, Roots tangled with another guy in the arch in the cage. Yes, I did. It almost got stuck several times. Ah, that's cool. Ah. Yeah, it's just a it's a typical uh old school Bud Light. Well, hey, you know, we're we're like soul brothers here, kinda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same diff. Same diff. Oh, no, Miller, Miller and Anheuser. <laughs> Two different people. Oh, we're like east side, west side. Yeah. 
Oh, man, who's Tupac? Who's Biggie? Oh, I'm Biggie. <laughs> 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 no, uh, I meant my stomach. I that, I meant my stomach. Uh, not according to Dawn. Uh, in, <laughs> well, um, we're going to go into some of uh, my stuff. And yes. uh, I've got an intro. Well, what's on the television then? Wait till they get a load of me. I love it when a plan comes together. There can be only one. Alcohol is a way of life. I know you are, but what am I? Let's go channel surfing with John. <laughs> <laughs> um, big, big news, of course. The entire internet can't calm its fucking tits about. Something happened? Oh, and I switched to uh, Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest. Um, Sony and Marvel. Disney. Spider-Man. Uh, yeah. That's, that's still not worked out. It will be, but the internet. By, by the time by this, time episode, this comes episode comes out, <laughs> they'll have a resolution. So, no, I mean honestly, they got a couple let's, of years. Let's record two. I'm really <laughs> glad that Sony gave in, or take two. Those fuckers still holding out. So, which one we send? With the the one we don't need, we send to yeah. you know starving African children, like sure. they do with the uh, pod, Super Bowl podcast shirts. for starving African children. <laughs> it's, it's like a choose your own adventure podcast. That's all. Like, which one do you want? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm bummed out about it, like every other nerd it's on the planet. First round but... of negotiations, man. You know, I mean, and Tom Rothman's a fucking douchebag anyway. The head of Sony. And uh, yeah, isn't that the guy who like failed Fox? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he st stepped down from Fox. Yeah, that's a, but the thing is, what does Sony have to negotiate with? I mean, yeah, they have Spider Man, but they don't have anything else. But Tom Rothman is now saying that, well, we don't need them anymore. <laughs> okay, the whole thing came uh -huh. down to money, and from what I read, it's, I mean. Disney just wanted a little more of the pie. And they Disney, wanted to split costs. Well, Disney, they're doing most of the work. They're doing all the heavy lifting. No, Disney they have, wanted to split cost on split production, cost which would have been profit. new because that they yeah. didn't. But right. they wanted to split profit 50-50. Yeah. The deal that was in place was 5% 5 5, 5 of day in and the Lucas deal, though. Yeah, four, the merchandising. Yeah. Which has got to be a fucking fortune. What do you need 50% yeah. for? It's fine. It it when all said and done, they'll end up with twenty percent, and you know we still got two years until. That's why nothing even Anything got announced. Even comes it, yeah. yeah. Well, and, and you so know, like Tom Tom Rothman's, like, <clears throat> like the internet's lost its shit over it. So right now, I'm sure his people above him are like, "What the fuck?" And um, eventually, I mean. It, not for nothing. This might cause this guy to resign from another job. <laughs> Step down. Yeah. I'm just saying Sony has no track record besides Into the Spider-Verse, which had more to do with the writers and the animators than it had to do with anything Sony did. That was an amazing movie. But yeah, yeah I mean. And, and what they think was successful was Venom. It monetarily yeah it was successful but it, it wasn't successful because it was a good movie it wasn't a billion dollar movie it it, it, it did okay because it, it's it was a it was a spider-man movie yeah, you're part of the problem Chad. Not for no, no, no I'm, I'm the first no, you're, I'm, you're part I'm of the, the i'm the first person happening. i'm the first person to say it was a shit movie but it, i enjoyed it <laughs> Dude, I went, dude, when, when Movie Pass was still the thing, I, I was one of like eight people that saw Hurricane Heist in no, the theater. We've okay? talked about it before. Yeah. yeah. So Gosh. I love shit movies. <laughs> well, now, I, in regards to that billion dollar movie, Sony's only had like one other movie in the last 20 years that's touched that much money. Yeah. Yeah. So. I yeah. mean, they're they're thinking it's our property. We own it. We have all the rights. That's fine. That's all fine. of their characters, and we're gonna do great. That fucking movie is Iron Man four, and that was them that asked for Iron Man in Homecoming. It wasn't Marvel. Sony asked for Iron. Well, that's the rumor. Yeah. I so here's know. what we're gonna have. You know, this whole thing with the um, you know, oh, we don't need Marvel. Yeah, you do. Marvel doesn't need you. Marvel can continue on 
with the not MCU. With, not with Spider Man, though. Never, yeah, but never mentioning Spider Man again, and it won't make a difference. Yeah. Because Tony's gone. So the the other movies aren't going to have Happy Hogan, you know. Yeah. There's going to be no mention of Spider Man. But now uh, they're going to try to make a Spider Man movie whose entire fucking story is centered around Tony Stark in these other two movies that they're not going to be able to talk about. It's going to be an awkward fucking movie. So if they don't come to a, an agreement and Sony makes a movie, I'm guaranteed they're going to be back at the table after that movie tanks. Listen, Sony execs, if you're listening, Old School Mike has an idea to get you out of trouble. <laughs> Besides Tom Rothman, listen giving up. the shit back to uh, Disney. You have the whole end of the second movie. Spoilers, everyone. Uh, Peter's outed. Oh my God, I got to deal with this shit. You introduce the live action Spider-Verse with <laughs> Tobey Maguire or fucking the other dude. What's his name? Andrew Garfield. Yeah. And you have them show up. All of a sudden, you're juggling all these things. You have fucking uh, Nick Cage come in as fucking Ghosty McGhoster or whatever the fuck his name is. Will the wind follow him? Chad, of course it will. <laughs> Chad, Chad will climb through a fucking spider, pig, spider ham, whatever, and and then you read <laughs> from there. My favorite line in Spider Verse is still John Mulaney. Do the animals talk in this universe? Because I don't want to freak anyone out. <laughs> he was the perfect choice for Spider Ham. That's the only way that I myself can see. No, I say we go full on clone saga. Or we have Peter change his name to Ben Riley. Yeah. I mean it's possible. Any Charles anything Spider. is possible. We'll yeah. see. We'll see what happens. I mean, we got we've got years and years, but the internet lost its shit, you know, like I it knew, does. I knew you were gonna bring this up for us to talk about, and I have a story that's adjacent. All but right. I, I will save that because otherwise I won't have much to talk about. Sony Sony <laughs> Sony Spider adjacent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So does so, so Sony owns Spider Man and all Spider characters and everything. So like, they own Miles. Do they own? They do. Uh, like Scarlet Spider at every live action, live action every versions. Spider Man. They yeah. At yeah. this point, Marvel could could make a uh, Night Monkey movie. Yeah. That, that would be all they could do. Would it be Tom Holland though? That would be interesting. The kid's doing double duty. Well, it's probably not going to be Tom Watts, the director. So. <laughs> Uh, cause he's not returning Sony's calls right now <laughs> and Tom Holland, you know, because I'm sure he has to be, um, has, is all upbeat about it, but he, from what I understand, he did unfollow Sony on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> so, I saw that. Hey man's undying. That's yeah, such that's, a millennial thing to do. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's some, Ugh, pass, what do you think that's of some that? passive aggressive <laughs> shit. Oh no, things are great. We're going to make great movies. They're going to be bigger and better. Click. He's a young kid and he's got a big contract, dude. I uh, he's blame got him. Two, he's got two more movies. He's, he's I'd be like, I'd be like, whatever yeah. you say, Sony. Let's fucking shit the bed. Yeah, but it's like it's like I just let's burn this bitch to the ground <laughs> in real life. Like his like the Peter Parker persona to to Tony, like that's him now. Tom Holland to Disney. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I just want to get. Does this mean I'm? In, does this mean I'm in Disney? No, no. Come on, man. <laughs> And it sucks too because now that Dis now that Disney owns Fox, we can't even get a Spider Man uh, uh, Deadpool movie. Yeah, well, I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I'd I rather see Spider Man and, and the Human Torch becoming friends. I'd be cool with the Deadpool Spider Man thing. I don't see that happening though. Oh, well, not now. <laughs> uh, a few little things. Apparently, Robert Robert England wants to do one more Nightmare on Elm Street, but he wants Kevin Bacon to be Freddy. Wait, what? Yeah, that's the story. How does Robert England do one more if Kevin Bacon is... No fucking clue. That's fucking six degrees to confusion. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, but Peter Quill would be happy. Is it because... Is it because Freddy Krueger looks like burnt bacon? I, uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> He can't um, unless he comes back as the first kid that was murdered and or no he was at, no was that, he was, the Elm that was Street that was Friday was, the Thirteenth was yeah it? no Johnny Depp was uh, Johnny was Depp he, was uh, was he it Kevin Bacon and not uh, famous not famous no Kevin Bacon was what, mm, was it Friday the Thirteenth it might have been I can't remember 
I can't remember either. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not uh, even try and look it up either. You know, we got Matrix Four coming. It's been confirmed, and uh, heard about that. about that. Only, only one of the Warshawski sisters is yeah, part of it, but, right? but Keanu and uh, <clears throat> what's her name, <clears throat> Trinity, Joanne Hogarth from what's her name? Carrie, Carrie Ann Moss. Moss. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, there's a ton of stories on here about um, the Spider-Man thing and, and different people reacting to him and, you know, like John Favreau. I kill myself! Yeah, <laughs> John, John Favreau's like, yeah, they'll work it out, you know, stuff like that, so. What's he gonna say? <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's the thing. Nobody, nobody can, I mean, everybody can talk about it. Kevin Smith, day one, was like, oh my God, listen to this. Yeah. I don't fucking mean anything, man. Yeah. Um, the cast of the Eternals uh, keeps growing, which I've never read any Eternals stuff. Me neither. So. Me neither. The only headline I saw about them is that at D D23 or some panel that they were doing recently, they were like, uh, the Eternals would kick the shit out of Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that, that uh, some you know, mouth-breathing portion of the internet is upset because they gender swapped one character or two characters. And they made one character gay. Um, what? Right, right. Because a comic book character sexuality think, is so fucking important. Fictional character. Strangely enough, I kind of have a story that relates to that too. <laughs> uh, but the big, the big rumor for the for the last few weeks was uh, Kit Harrington from Game of Thrones being brought into to. Um, Pardon me, into Disney, MCU, MCU yeah. and they didn't know who he's going to play. So there were speculations he was going to be Moon Knight, blah blah blah. No, he's in the Internals. So huh. whatever, we'll see if that's good. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> the best reaction I saw to the Spider Man thing <laughs> was, <laughs> uh oh, it, it was uh, it was Jeff Goldblum because like he had no idea what was going on. Like when somebody interviewed him and he's like, and he was just, he said he was devastated or something or distraught when he found out the news. It's just typical Jeff Goldblum. Just like, Oh my God. <laughs> uh, so we got a trailer or we got a first look. I don't know if you guys saw it. <clears throat> Some behind the scenes from D3 of uh, rise of Skywalker. Yes. It's a night. I watched that and the Mandalorian trailer. Yeah. Like and I think too. they both look like fire, dude. Uh, Mandalorian, I'm, uh, I mean, I'm going to watch it, but. I know I, nothing about what the hell the Mandalorian is. It's just a Mandalorian bounty hunter. It's like Boba Fett. But it's yeah. not. I'm saying it's Boba Fett. It's like. Mandalorians were a Boba race. Foot. Yeah. I, 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 I love <laughs> Star Trek and have watched everything and followed everything, but not. <laughs> To the extent of <laughs> you guys. Did you, did you mean Star Wars? I meant Star Wars. <laughs> See, that's how that's how deep into it I am. Uh, a, when I all your said, cred went right out the window right there. I, I, well, I've, that's, that's the thing. I, I've watched all the Star Wars movies, all the Star Trek movies, all the TV shows, everything, but I don't follow it. Like You you could give like the birthright of every fucking character. Well, yeah, but I read, like, of, I read a lot of the... Uh, um, a lot of the expanded universe stuff too. Yeah, I did not get that far into it. Yeah, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to throw in the Mandalorian already. Let's continue with the new, uh, the well, new trailer for yeah, uh, Rise yeah, of Skywalker. Um, I mean, we can play it, I guess, if you want. Sure, why not? I'll watch it again. There's a pretty badass poster too. Oh really? Um, you didn't see the 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 new poster that came out? No, I don't think so. Is it a scene from the trailer? No, it's just oh, a very okay. anime-inspired uh, poster. Here. Oh, really? I think so, and I think it looks pretty cool. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it looks very anime to me. Um, it does, like, yeah, like, you know, with Ray and uh, fucking, you know, uh, Han Solo's kid. Um, they look like they're straight animation. The emperor looks like the emperor, I guess, but 
I mean, yeah. from that, that, the last trailer that they dropped, I mean, you'd think the next one is going to have Ray with that double uh, lightsaber and the. Well, we're going to find out. And... We're gonna, you want to watch it, the trailer? It, we can, and we can talk about that afterwards. I almost think that that's something else. I think that's a misdirect. Myself. I think it, I think it's a force. Oh, it's vision. got it's. Got I think it's a. a I think it's a force vision or the same as the same as Luke when he's on Dagobah and he sees himself in Vader's helmet. Yeah, yeah. it's like I am the evil. Now, just sh- that double end, fucking. Because in that trailer they show Darth Maul right with the. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could watch the whole the yeah. whole thing if you want, or we can Turn just on. Yeah. watch yeah, the the new it. footage. Um, hold on. Either way, whatever. Yeah, no, we'll watch the whole thing. All right. Man, quit telling John how to do his segment, Mike. God. Yeah. Nobody's Mike. telling me nothing, Mike. Fucking jerk off. You're fine. You're good. All right, here we go. I will say I'd probably enjoy this trailer more if half my screen wasn't shattered. Best part for me out of that entire thing was uh, the music. <coughs> the best part of that entire trailer to me is the whole trailer. It's like <laughs> it, it just harkens like nostalgia definitely, through the whole thing. I mean, it's it's definitely um, what do they call that nowadays? Followers. Fan service. Fan service. You, the whole you thing would is- think this has got to be the the end of the whole Skywalk. It's got to be. Well, uh, here's here's the actual best part. Okay. Right here. I wanted to ask that. <laughs> the evil C-3PO? Yeah. <laughs> he just got rose-colored shades on. You may he's not like recognize me because of my red eyes. <laughs> it's not, not for nothing, does that trailer look entirely better than that whole last movie? No, I love that last movie. So really, uh, yeah, see, I I, love I still last haven't movie. been able to finish it. That's how good uh, I thought it was. I love last year. My only complaint was the way they took Luke out. I thought it was dumb. I liked it. See, I'm not even to that point in the movie, but of course, because I'm a nerd and I can't hide from anything. Well, of course, well, that, it, it's been I love it, three but, fucking years too, yeah, hasn't it? Since whatever, it came man. out. But the whole the <laughs> whole fucking Leia having amazing force abilities, and I get Luke. Okay, whatever. He force projects himself to another planet. It's been on the other thirty side fucking of the world. years, thirty plus years. You don't think that Leia trained at all? I trained a lot, John. It's been a good thirty years since, maybe more since I started skateboarding. I ate shit the other day really easily. Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying. 
<laughs> you're not a Skywalker. Okay, no, wait. You're not a Tony Hawk. You're not a Hawk. Okay. Or you're not uh, a whoever. I mean, pick pick your pick your I'm just saying this is a ridiculously force sensitive. I'm sorry, okay, you're not a Lee. This is a ridiculously force sensitive family <laughs> that come on, man. I mean Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of cool shit in it. The whole throwing the lightsaber through the fucking trees is dope. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I mean I like that. I, I um, love Ray, all the force powers. Ray looks really weird in that scene with the double lightsaber. So she looks she, well She it, looks it, like it, almost computer dark, computer yeah, generated. She looks totally computer generated. It looks like they they aged her and made her something. Well well when the dark side overtakes you and just like the Emperor, he, 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 he gets fucked up. He get fucked up. No, that was because he was attacked, because the attack on my body has left me scarred. That's true. <laughs> and That's true. deformed. A new republic. <laughs> I am the Senate. I, I liked it though. I mean it looks No, it definitely it definitely gets you going. Um gives you a little I, Star I mean... Wars chubby. Yeah, it, and like I said, it's total fan service, but mm-hmm. it doesn't like tell you anything. Like I have no clue what the fuck this. Well, here, here, there's a difference between fan service and fan wanking, and like Force Awakens, I was super excited. Which, which do we like better? It depends. Like we hadn't had a good, really good Star Wars movie in a while, so we got the Force Awakens, and I watched it the first time. I was like, yeah, and then on my way home, I'm kind of like, you know, that was cool oh. and all, but. It was all the same shit I've already seen. It was was a safe. It was a safe movie. So, Force Awakens was a fan wank. Okay. Fan service is, you know, a little bit better. It's not just a straight up knockoff, in my opinion. Um, So that's why I like Last Jedi so much because it just turned everything on its ear. Um, Now I agree, Chad. It it could have been. I don't want to say served better because obviously I can't make these fucking movies. But served differently uh, had had Luke actually shown up to the planet. You know? You're just lucky yeah. I didn't know that was coming, or I'd have let him, let him be weak. I will. I would even, have shared my screen and showed you and Tony lightsaber battling just to prove that you can do those movies. Okay, show it. Sorry, Chad. I totally stepped over. You. I dare you. I dare you to show screen share that shit. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to find it. (laughs) He's got to load it up ready to go. So you didn't have it ready to go. Chad, Um, keep talking. I didn't have it ready at all. (laughs) No, but like I said, I think maybe it would have been different, uh, but it would have ultimately, and this probably comes a lot from being a guy who read a lot of the books and played a lot of the games, so knows a lot of the lore. The whole thing with, with Luke force projecting across the galaxy and burning all the cells out in his body didn't surprise me. That's, you know, what a powerful force user can do, but he's going to die by doing it. You yeah. Know? And okay. And, and somebody who read all the books and played all the games and all that, you, you know, that yeah. or the average schlub like me or somebody who knows even less, you don't realize yeah. you don't know any of that. You're like, well, why did he, he just faded away? That's well, that's because dumb. that's, you could have known it had maybe Luke. Had I dedicated 30 I, years no, no, of my life no. to books that are not, not <laughs> no, with the prequels had, Lucas maybe stuck with the mystical energy field thing yeah. instead of going scientific with it. Maybe that would have made more sense for you. So blame Lucas is what I would do. Yeah. Yeah. You I guys don't have to fill it anymore. I can't get, I can't, I forgot my password for you. <laughs> I can't sign in. I can... Yeah. Sorry. It's on, it's on my next, page. You can next find time. It. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, trailer looks good. Evil C-3PO. Uh, looks like we got some footage, uh, which they said we were going to have, of uh, Carrie Fisher. Mm-hmm. You know, she died before this started production, so there must have been some cutting room floor shit from uh, yeah, last hopefully Yeah, that's, hopefully that's it, too. It's just like a little... Yeah, little I don't... Yeah, and I was okay with that. Everybody's they like, "Oh, they're you. taking all the, they're taking all of our old heroes and killing them, dude." They had their fucking time. <laughs> They've had well, they, 30 have, they years. have to kill them because even in, in this timeline, they're all in their fucking sixties or seventies. Yeah, uh, not for nothing. Princess Leia does that many drugs; she's gonna I'm, die at some point. I'm maybe, just... maybe, maybe C three PO. Maybe that's why his eyes are red. He's high as shit. Here's... <laughs> he, <laughs> got, he got into Leia. That's, that's how they get Leia. <laughs> they both OD. They they, they were inject on... the marijuana and they. <laughs> 
they were on the the Denver whatever whatever Denver's planet is in a galaxy far far away. They were, they were hitting were, Jabba's hookah. They were, they were drinking uh, Miller High Life champagne <laughs> bottles and getting high. Four loco and like yeah. No, um, but you know what? The, the bottom line in all these stories, the main characters of these, all these Star Wars stories, every Star Wars movie we've had, with the exception of Rogue One and Solo, the droids, the droids. <laughs> it's their story. They're the Sam and Frodo of the entire universe. They really have been there for everything. They've been there for Very everything. Much. And now, and now you got the cute new one that goes along with BB-8. Wow. Yeah. So looks good, but. Uh, Every image, every time I see that in the first teaser they did with it, that image of that quick scene of Lando, I just, Billy Dee Williams has not aged well. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think any of them aged well. Well, I mean, Harrison did for a while. So, but yeah. Um, anyhow, yeah. So that was We'll that. see how well Harrison aged when the next indie movie comes out. Oh, God. Let's just move on to somebody new. Yeah, you know what? Indy's going to look worse. They, they might as well bring back, uh, uh, what's his name, who played his dad. <laughs> no, um, he, he quit acting. I know. What the, well, I yeah. can't think of his goddamn name. That's not what your mother said. Sean Connery. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, Sean, Con- Con- <laughs> Sean like, Connery. What the fuck yeah. are we talking about? Sean Connery probably looks better now than friggin' Harrison Ford does now when he played his father. <laughs> Well, he was only a few years older than Harrison at the time when he played his yeah. father. Uh, do you guys see there's a Breaking Bad movie coming? Look, I heard something great. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm apparently, not turning in. You're not going to turn in Jesse Pinkman. Hell no. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna help you people put Jesse Pinkman back in a cage. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah that, I I didn't see anything about it. Was there a trailer? Oh, there's a trailer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? No, I didn't. El, Cam- El Camino. <laughs> yeah. See, I I kind of part of me was like when I heard about it, I was like, what do I need that for? I really <laughs> like, Elle, but I don't need a movie. I like Jesse but Pinkman though a lot. Uh, me too. Dude, I, I, I thought the same thing about uh, Better Call Saul. I'm like, who gives a shit about the lawyer? I mean, you're going to do a spinoff of the lawyer from the movie. I love Better Call Saul. It was a pretty neat show. The parts that I saw. Why, that, why that's, I free shit up? That's I about all I have. Uh, all I have to talk about. Um, but yeah, there is a trailer, Mike. If you check it out, I will uh, check it. Because out. I was wondering when they were talking about making a Breaking Bad movie, it's like, how are they going to do like, that? How are they going to do that? Why are they going to do that? Yeah. Well, not just just how are they going to do that? Because you know, Walter White's dead. Spoilers. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> he has started the. He started the show with terminal cancer. <laughs> How do you think the show's going to end? <laughs> oh, man. man. I got to say, I not didn't. Terminal, not terminal not cancer terminal. patients are not going to do the show. I thought the blue meth was going to heal them. <laughs> there you go. Only on Mustafar. Oh, by the way, that, that last scene with uh, Ray and, uh, and Kylo Ren fighting on the mm-hmm. water planet looks like the exact scene of obi-wan and anakin fighting on the lava on planet, the lava planet. <laughs> it's just palette swapped yeah. <laughs> yeah. blue filter on this one red filter on this one yeah i like the i like i you like think the, that was intentional i think so i think it absolutely was yeah. probably blue, red yeah no i think it was water planet lava planet you know i, yeah. I definitely think that abrams would I mean, come on. You saw The Force Awakens. Everything in there was intentional to look like the other movies. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, shot for shot, some of it. Yeah, some of it. Darth Maul's lightsaber wasn't a disconnect, though, right? It was just um, a one on yeah. and off. Yeah, it dis- like, Obi- uh, uh, Qui-Gon disconnected it for him at one point. Oh, yes. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. like he couldn't wield two no. like she no. was. He could there shoot out character- one. There is yeah. a character in Clone Wars that could do that. Well, I've never seen one like that where it's double and it flips around. But it, all that, when I see stuff like that nowadays, like I didn't, when I saw Darth Maul, I was like, holy shit, that's awesome. But nowadays I'm older and wiser and I say, oh, that's a new toy to be sold. Yeah. That's what that is. That's all that is. Yeah. Mm. That's also somebody, <laughs> the, the miraculous ability to rotoscope really easily now. Yeah. They're like, not fucking like- put two of them in. Not like back in the day. Fighting. Who cares? We Not like twenty minutes. Like the video you were just talking about with me and and Tony uh, doing our lightsaber fight back and then. Jesus Christ, that took us a month to animate. Really? It was, did it? It was like it's like a thirty second clip, if that, like seventeen seconds or something. Yeah, 
took like a month to animate frame wow. by frame yeah that's crazy dude yeah. i didn't realize that <laughs> and now there's like a rotoscope tool on on adobe premiere or something you know oh really yeah yep huh. and there's probably already a plug-in for lightsaber <laughs> like we had to blur gaussian blur and and all the different things we had to do to make it work after, that's after we went in and drew every frame over you know like one frame would show like a fan of whatever stick we were using so we draw a big white triangle and then oh really a, we do all that and then we start putting the glows in so yeah but yeah not like uh not like today it's all push button now Shit. so that's all i had for my segment and uh we'll move on to chad's but i know it ends like th- that's a- <laughs> and (laughs) all right i swear we should just keep these in from now on Uh, first story um, wait is that conway twitty behind you conway twitty uh oh no that's uh uh, that was the same album from last week okay Uh, it doesn't matter yeah i didn't i didn't switch it off switch it over Roy Calhoun, the comedian. I have no idea who he is. Haven't listened to it yet. You got to listen to it and give us a report one of these days. Yeah. Do an episode oh. about it. Like that four could, hours. Well, four hour track by track. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just trade duties when we. Sweet. Uh, Mike said. Uh, I'll Mike come said, up with. I'll Mike come said up with duty. Florida. Yeah, duty. <laughs> I'll come up with Florida man story. He's always yeah. open my door and be like, what's going on, guys? All right, here we go. Um. I'm going to dance around this one a little bit because I've got a story that kind of goes along with this. Um, (laughs) Do I have to get the dump button ready? (laughs) Susan Torres said she thought the discomfort in her left ear was being caused by some water, but she went to a clinic in Kansas City. Spider babies, spider babies. To have it checked out and begin to worry when the medical assistant expressed concern. She immediately (laughs) ran out and said, (laughs) Said what? So now I'm going to skip on my... Wait, wait, what did she I'm say? I'm going to get a couple more people and ran out of the room. <laughs> now, I'm going to pause this story to tell you my story. Oh, all right. Uh, when I was in basic training. People don't pay uh, to hear your stories. I know they don't. Uh, when I was in basic training, jacked up my arm. Uh, I can't make the bump. Usually that'll bump up. Yeah. But it was, it was all jacked up, and I'm sitting in the clinic one day to get it looked at. And all of a sudden, a guy, just a guy's like, I'm 6'1". This guy was like six five, yeah. massive. It was like my yeah, cousin. He, he <laughs> is seven foot like, tall. He's like crying, like sobbing, holding his ear, the side of his head. They pull him in. They like throw him on the table. It's 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 like a regular uh, examination room, but there's two tables because they're doing two people at a time, and there's like friggin' ten different rooms. But I'm sitting in there, and they sl- throw this guy down. My doctor completely turns around, ignores me. They go to him. <laughs> And they're looking in his ear and they're running and they're grabbing and they grab this big bottle of water. And as they're talking to him and everything, he was, he was, uh, they were out bivouac, which is basically yeah, 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 we know. camping. Yeah. It's camping, except instead of nice tents, you have a tarp that just it comes down and it is about that far off the ground mm-hmm. on the dirt. So they grab this big bottle of like saline water, they jam it in his ear, squeeze it, and the guy. His, ar- his back arches. They send in two other guys. Orderlies are holding his legs down, his arms down, and this guy's screaming. Flips over, and all this just stuff oozes out, like foam and pus. He's screaming. They grab, they squeeze more of that saline water, does it again. Then they grab, like, alcohol. It's an like alcohol and water mixture. S- squeeze it in there, and he just screams. Flipping his head around, they turn it to the side, and a cockroach – the size of my thumb comes out of that guy's ear. That's yeah. And then the doctor says, "Okay, uh-huh. we gotta we gotta get the babies out." <laughs> Fucking just, you know what? At that point, I'm like, a nurse vomited. <laughs> you know what it takes to make a nurse vomit? Well, there's plenty of stories like this, and actually, I I may be wrong. Uh, I might have to look it up for next episode and maybe issue a correction. But from what I understand, the story of Alien, the first Alien movie, 
came from this urban legend or it's not an urban legend it happens all the time to people spider spiders crawl into spiders no no that you're that's that's time. that's an urban legend that you swallow spiders while you're sleeping thing that's 100 percent an urban I'm legend. just saying they crawl yeah. in and on you the roach thing though in in populated areas cities and things like that that happens continuously with people going into the er with pain in their ear and they've got roaches in there yeah. yeah you guys are you watching my face while you're telling this story he's watching I, the video I, right now i am not cringed out by just about anything <laughs> and that shit has me like no no dumped, mike these are not florida, these are not florida roaches okay right. <laughs> no, no. those know, are palmetto the, bugs the whole time i'm thinking you just dumped the alcohol in my ear mom came out you're talking about the babies and i'm just like i i got this myself no problem <laughs> <laughs> light my shit up baby. No. Dude, I just it just occurred to me right now now that you turned your hat on backwards yeah. what do you with your hat on backwards and the new beard and all the green you look like a leprechaun that <laughs> <laughs> always after me lucky charms you put the gold and make a roach in my ear <laughs> You want to borrow my hat, Mike? It sounded a little more Jamaican. <laughs> it did a little. Hey, man, you want to find my pot of gold? I am an idiot. Is the Irie Roach? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So back to your story. Uh, so back to the story. Long story short, who cares about the sto that story now? But it was a brown recluse spider. Oh, Ooh. Uh, luckily, it did not bite her. Yeah, no shit. That stuff will which, destroy uh, you. First, which, uh, ironically, the first time I came across a brown recluse spider was down here. Was uh, in basic. Oh. I had fire watch one night, and which just means you just walk around looking for fire or whatever. But I'm walking <laughs> around. And we're doing. We're doing spontaneous fucking... fire in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's some. I don't know. They told me to look for a fire. They made me walk around. One fire. I Check. have my. I have my. Fl we're we're up, we're out bivouac. I've got my flashlight and I got a stick and they tell me when you're walking, if you see a spider, if you see a spider, something crawling on the tent, hit the side of the tent. Don't kill the spiders. Cause for whatever reason, you're not supposed to kill spiders or scorpions or anything, but just hit the side of the tent and it'll knock it off the tent. As I'm walking, the first time I see a spider, I hit the side of the tent. It slides down and runs into the tent. And I'm like, that is the dumbest fucking thing in the world. And I just refuse. I'm like, I'm not hitting any more tents. <laughs> it was... But anyway. Brown I've seen I've gonna... seen plenty of brown recluses in, in crawl spaces up here. Yeah. They, uh, uh... Yeah, but never in somebody's crawl space of an ear. Yeah, never nope. in anybody's that's ear. A, that's a bad combination, man. Mike's, Mike's not gonna Mike's not gonna be able to sleep tonight. I might not. I'm just <laughs> glad it, well, I'm glad Jamie doesn't. He's listen. gonna be laying in bed like I'm just glad the missus doesn't listen to this, dude. She don't like any bug story. Oh. <laughs> she'd hear that shit and she'd be like, "We are burning the house down." That's like my wife. Oh, she do. She finds like bugs. Just because you talked about it. It's not oh. bugs. It's not bugs with my wife. It's blood. If like I talk about, oh, so I got hurt today, and like, like I can watch her eyes roll up in her head while I'm talking. See, she don't see. My wife doesn't care about bugs per se. Like. Okay, yeah, mosquitoes, they're a nuisance here. Spiders, we got them all over this fucking back porch for whatever reason. They just, like, have decided to set up camp in my hey, back porch. Hey, those are our tens of fans, Mike. Well, you know, hey, <laughs> y'all y'all listen up. Um, but, no, like, the cockroaches, dude, she's just like, yeah. no. Yeah. Scorch, so what, what would she do if one was in her food? Uh, I don't know. I think she I'm gonna. I, I'm de I'm detecting a theme tonight. No, to no, stories. no, no. I know there. The, I that's it. The food leads into it. I was just curious. Uh, next story: Dairy Queen burgers are not made of human meat. The store confirms after feds swarm the restaurant. <laughs> Did somebody swat Dairy Queen? Are they made of cockroaches? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Dairy Queen had to had to clarify that the f store's food does not contain human meat i don't know why that's in parentheses human meat after one of its south carolina restaurants right. was swarmed by federal agents okay i ha i have a question real quick mm -hmm. when it's referring to human meat is it meat that humans eat and it's, it's long it's or is long it fucking pork. like or long is pork. it like 
Oh, uh, we What's, hacked Johnny's leg off and ground it up to make that, what What is concerning two. to me is that they put, you know, they, they made a point to say it contains no human meat. Um, somebody, their official response to this was, was somebody had hit him up on after this whole thing took, took place. Somebody, Why did they get raided? I mean, where's the story uh, there? Okay, about 9.30 yeah, a.m. this Conquer, last you're went, not. Wednesday. Well, <laughs> Walter didn't have two drunk guys interrupting him either. <clears throat> Federal agents from the FBI and Homeland Security. And now Security. you know the rest of the story. They appeared at a store in Greenwood. He told the news outlet a corporate inspector told him someone complained that there was, again, human meat in How a burger. How would they know? And why do they keep putting it in parentheses? <laughs> Was this guy's last name Dahmer? I don't no. know. But you know what? If they're actually uh, genetically engineering people in the back of the Dairy Queen, it's they, they own those people. They can do whatever the fuck they want I, with that I'm meat. more concerned with their official response. On Twitter, um, somebody wrote, Hey, Dairy Queen, do y'all use human meat at your Greenwood, South Carolina location? That was definitely a South Carolina that said um, that. And they had quoted an article that, that said the fictional Soylent Green might have been made from people, but officials say human meat is not on the menu at, at Dairy Queen, despite a blizzard of rumors to the contrary. <laughs> oh, give that man a raise. That's funny. So, God, but, God, God, now this, me. Now oh, this is what concerns me. Dairy Queen's official response was, hi, Matthew. At Dairy Queen, we are very proud of our 100% beef hamburgers. We serve high-quality hamburger with no additives or fillers. What has Wendy there said about it, though? There yeah, is, that's what I was just saying. Yeah, Wendy's, Wendy's, Wendy's Twitter is fucking I savage. Like, I didn't even think about yeah. Googling that. Did Wendy, anybody Wendy's, like, come back and be like, <laughs> All right, here's the thing with um, fan food. It's not fast food. It's fan food, Dairy Queen. Um, I've eaten it several times. Uh, just because sometimes I'm out in the middle of nowhere, bumfuck North Carolina, and that's the only thing they have to eat is a Dairy Queen or restaurant. You know, just big oh, sign, my favorite place restaurant. is restaurant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so my problem is every single time I've gotten a burger there, it takes forever to get it. When I finally get it, I go to take a bite, and it is lava fucking hot every single fucking time. At least you like, know it's fresh. Like they threw it in the microwave for nine minutes, you know. <laughs> it doesn't taste like people, though. <laughs> I don't care at that point. I'm just hungry. I'm going to ask my nephew. My nephew just started working at Dairy Queen. I'm going to be like, <laughs> yo, T, you got people? people in the back, dude? They grind them up or what? You he's, can run through the building. It's people. He's going to be like, what are you talking Dairy about? Dairy Queen is made from people. people. Oh, I tell you what, if – this is going to lead into my next story. Um, you could okay. tell people that Chick-fil-A, it was made of people and nobody would, it, it wouldn't, they would not lose a single customer. Cause until, on the seventh day they rest until Popeye's opens. Cause the internet's on fire right now with that. You know, you know what? I've had everything. I haven't had that sandwich yet. But I, I haven't either, but every, we got one that's opening I've up. Had right up the every road. single thing Popeye's has ever made. And then was supposed to be the big thing. And I still, I still prefer the chicken, just the spicy chicken. Fucking Chick Fil A is too expensive. It's garbage. It takes too long to get it. Uh, so. Garbage food. And fuck you, it's great. <laughs> I love Chick Fil A. So, uh, Mike, as, so what as, you're saying, what you're saying, Mike, is that you hate gay people? No, I love <laughs> gay people too. I just yeah. haven't. You know what? Hey, you know I don't. I hate McDonald's, but they don't tell me who who I can and can't have sex with. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> I have two very good friends that are homosexual. I've, I I one hundred percent am kidding. Internet, and, Mike. You know, I didn't. Yeah. They yeah. no, but they love Chick Fil A, and I'm like, y'all don't feel guilty. <laughs> like I don't feel guilty because I don't care. But y'all don't feel guilty. So what do they do? They go to Chick Fil A, get sandwiches, then go to Hobby Lobby, do some shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you oh. what, Chick-fil-A is just like the Thai restaurant here. Um, every time I want it, I'm like, yeah, let's get some Chick-fil-A. Sunday. I fucking Yeah, hate let's it. get some Thai food. Sunday. I'm I like, fucking, I hate Chick-fil-A. Absolutely. Uh, like Chick-fil-A customer arrested for allegedly beating a pregnant woman who tried to cut in the drive through lane. Well, you know, that's, they, that's how much those people hey. love. 
hey, abortions are illegal, but hey, you can kick them in the stomach, and that's the, God's plan. In the Bible, though, the woman needs to be beholden to the man, and apparently she wasn't listening. She tried to, hey, she tried to get into his Chick-fil-A. <laughs> she tried apparently, to fill his Chick-fil-A? Apparently this, this uh, woman. There's a reason they call it Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Jada Blake, 19 of Newark, was waiting in line at the drive-thru when another driver attempted to drive in front of her. Uh, according to the Delaware State Police, she accelerated her vehicle abruptly, blocked the other vehicle from moving forward, exited her vehicle, confronted the other driver, and then began hitting her. Pulled her through. Oh, so it wasn't a Chick Fil A. Pulled her through the open car window. Pulled her to the ground. Started kicking her in the stomach. She was yeah. pregnant. She's now. Gross. See, I was I was right on board with this when you said Newark because I was like, okay, it wasn't Florida. It's Jersey. It was Newark. It was Jersey. Yeah. But then you said Delaware police. Yeah. Right on the line. No, uh, where's like, Delaware? I'm, Oh, Delaware is like this big, so it could be anywhere. It could be hiding maybe. in Jersey. It, I think maybe, it's hiding in Jersey. Maybe there's a Newark, Delaware. Maybe all the know. states around there take it in every weekend. Like, oh, New York, you have Delaware this weekend. Yeah, it's like it's like a custody <laughs> battle. It's like I don't want Delaware this weekend. I got well. Planned. Too bad the judge said you have Delaware this weekend. All right, you we just lost on? all our Delaware listeners right well, there. Because I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to lose all of our Florida listeners. I'm going to skip this Florida story. What was the, what was uh, the headline? Flor Florida man arrested for harassing Michael Jackson impersonator outside club. Yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. It sounds kind of tame. That's kind of my new favorite game, though. When you say I'm going to skip this story, is asking you what the title was. Oh yeah, I know, and I know you're going to. Uh, <laughs> what do we got on this one here? Let my internet open up because it's so goddamn slow. It's probably your son's fault. You should have beaten him harder. Action news is kind of slow. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> uh, Florida man gets 30 months in prison after accidentally shooting himself. In and it in? Well, after <laughs> accidentally shooting himself while drinking. <laughs> Judge I mean, says, hasn't he suffered enough? He was charged with uh, being a felon in possession of a firearm with ammunition. Hmm. Why? Uh, Always, man. Always. Basically, he he showed up at a hospital with a gunshot wound, said he, he was robbed at gunpoint. Then the police went out to his car, found the gun and the bullets. And the blood all over the seat. The blood, blood, yeah. Yeah. Was, this his, was this the same guy who castrated the guy he met on the internet? <laughs> Yeah. That was a Florida man. Yeah, this guy had five prior felony convictions, including p possession of a consoled, controlled substance. <laughs> a consoled yeah. substance. Consoled it's okay. It's okay, man. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, man. You're just a little messed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking iPad. There we go. Well, let's get away, get away from that Apple bullshit and you'd be okay. We're going to skip on to my next one. Uh, Connecticut man. It's not a Florida man. Okay. We're, our, we're all Florida man. We, we are. The entire yeah. country is Florida mm -hmm. man. Connecticut man allegedly tested out guns by shooting into a park where the kids were playing. Oh well, you know, moving targets. They're hard to catch. Those little buggers are fast. Hey, if you can hit a if you can hit a kid playing t ball from about hey. two hundred yards, you just got to lead them a little. This. This doesn't end badly if it's a Nerf gun. Just saying. <laughs> Kids I'm are like, gonna, oh, I'm going to go ahead and God. say it's not a Nerf gun. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, it wasn't. Uh, he didn't hit anybody, though, right? Uh -oh. Hit oh, damn it. The government's hacking into us. Yeah. So, anyway. So, yeah, he shot into a crowd of kids, shot huh? Into a crowd of kids, and then he. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't be a douche. Uh, that's great. I thought that was legitimate. That was an amazing <laughs> chat. <laughs> hey, Mike, your light's back on, by the way. Next week on Dateline, 
They were, it was the perfect marriage. <laughs> the lovely family in Fort Myers, Florida. <laughs> Until one night, he wanted a burger and had no ground beef. The Dairy <laughs> Queen murderer, Mike Van Cleve. Sorry, you were gone for a while. We figured you were beating everybody in the house because they turned that light on. All right, so apparently this guy shot into some kids. That's the last shot thing I heard. Shot some kids. Uh, he didn't hit one, though. No, didn't hit anybody. Oh, that's um, good. Nothing really happened. I mean, it, it's... Uh, they said, oh, people are playing baseball. We're extremely lucky no one was hurt. Um, it's very well, much. Basically, they, they were interviewing somebody that knew him and said, well, he's a wonderful person from my interactions with him. And from what I've heard about what happened, my guess is he just did something stupid, but no ill intent. Yeah, but that, come on. I own guns. Okay, I'm not going to get political because we don't want to get political. I own guns these are the people that shouldn't own guns he didn't mean anything bad he went to the park yeah he's like hey i got a new gun i want to he, he said he wanted to see how see how well they worked go to a range you asshat yeah he okay there we go 68 year year the 68 year old who was working as a security guard didn't say where he told police he wanted to see how they worked they you know how a gun works it doesn't matter what kind you have they work the same way he it reportedly a, had in his possession a nine millimeter Beretta and found a few empty mini bottles of vodka in his in his vehicle. That's the that's that, the that's key, the right, key there. right there. Yeah. That's what unlocks the mystery. Just just we don't need gun control. We need people control. Well, we need some kind of some yeah. gun control. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Anyway, uh, moving on. Moving on. Not funny. Dead puppies. Dead <laughs> puppies. There's nothing funny down that road. There's nothing funny down that road. Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's old Bob and Tom. <laughs> all right, here we go. Cancer. <clears throat> not funny. Dead puppies. Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to Florida Man. Florida Man Whoa. is always funny. Always funny. We can just cut out Connecticut Man. No, no, no. We're, the, we're government tried to, the government tried to cut him out. So Motherfucker, we, I sang. That's, that's another reason we should cut him out. Motherfucker, uh, I'm awesome. A Florida Man was arrested on August 7 after allegedly showing a liquor store clerk his penis. Well, I mean, how else do you prove that you're old enough? <laughs> like, I like it when I make Chad laugh. It's like, I don't have any ID, but look how long my balls are. Dude, look at this hair. I'm an old man, you can tell. <laughs> my balls go to my knees. <laughs> All right, so uh <laughs> Florida, he wanted the her to headline. count the rings. He, 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 <laughs> Count the rings. Uh, the headline says, Florida man tells woman, hey, look at this, and then pulls out genitals. God damn. Fool me once. Fool me once. Shame on you. Apparently, he walked into, walked into the business. Uh, he was acting strange, pacing back and forth. Uh, soon after, the, wom the woman said he walked behind his disp a display. Pulled out his penis. His, his <laughs> display. <laughs> Pulled out a, his his display. <laughs> uh, oh. Apparently, he took off running. He was able. He was able to drive off. Uh, they investigated. They found him. <sighs> Where'd they find him? Well, they they, well, they they said they started their investigation and they found him at a later date. So they gotcha. must have known him he's the he's the guy who says look at this uh, they basically showed him a picture taken from the surveillance footage he admitted he went to the store but claimed his penis was out because he had just walked out of the bathroom and forgot to put it away uh, well that happens it happens uh, but i do want to point out a double standard here if you were working at a liquor store and a lady came in and said you need to see my id what about these no cops get called yeah i mean it Depends who's working. <laughs> yeah, but even <laughs> even if they're horrible, horrible grandma boobs, 
There's still boobs. I mean, even if they're like they're nasty, disgusting, like to the point you're uh, boobs. It's still a laugh. I mean, right? to a guy, it's a laugh. To a woman, if I'm I'm six one two sixty, if I walk up to some y- young lady behind a counter, I'm like, hey, look at this. It's a little more frightening. Mike, look at that. Chad acting like he's never done that before. Well, yeah, because we all know the story. He does that, <laughs> and then the fucking Uper girls like, oh, God. oh, look, at it. it looks like a looks like a scoop of chocolate and vanilla down there, hey? Eh? Looks like I never read you the guy's eye. name in the story. I'm not. T- <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, Florida man, Florida man. All right, uh, penis. Don't leave home without it. Yeah, I mean, it, not for nothing. It, a lady flashing her boobs. Okay, I don't. This see is that a little same. bit of a d- double standard, though. I, I mean, yeah, it is, but I it's not. I don't yeah. see it the same as like if I'm working, and a dude flashes his junk at me, I'm gonna be like, "Oh dear, that was amusing." Do that again so I can take a picture. But lady <laughs> flashes her boobs, I'm gonna be like, "Ma'am, really?" But if she flashes her front bottom i'm gonna be the equally offended as the dude i'm gonna be like oh that's not right let me take a picture (laughs) (laughs) this whole conversation took a very (laughs) weird turn next story (laughs) florida man threatens man with machete for not flushing toilet oh well now seriously flush the fucking toilet was it in walmart uh it was in hudson florida where's that no clue not sure that sounds like southern georgia pasco county pasco where is pasco i don't know that sounds if i had a guess i would say north florida i don't know let's look sounds like it pasco county sheriff uh told the victim he would chop him with a machete chop Uh, him i'll chop you i chop him uh deputy when deputies questioned him he told the deputies in a written statement shit happened that, that was his official statement that uh, when they asked him why he did that, he said, shit happened. That's yeah, a statement. I have to, I have to uh, side with this guy, even though I'm going to spin this around. I'll give it a you second. could just share your screen. This oh, is on my iPad. That is an oh. impressive goatee. Yeah, it is. Um, that guy comes at you with a machete. Mm-hmm. You apologize and say, I'm sorry, sir. I'll go, I'll go clean that toilet now. Yeah, that but he's like four foot man. tall. He's like four foot tall and 98 pounds. And holding a machete. If he's four foot tall, he's closer to my penis. Chop, chop. <laughs> chop, chop. I don't know. Where's Pasco <laughs> County, Mike? Uh, it's near Spring Hill. I don't know that either. It is just north east or northwest of lakeland it's like oh, okay. just just north of tampa central cent, uh, central uh, central florida central west florida yeah <clears throat> yeah that was a new one for me i've never heard of it i've heard it but <laughs> evidently there's uh, crazy dudes with machetes there i don't know that i need to hear of it Achete. anti-sex toilets will soak users with water jets and sound an alarm when they start jerking off, the new loos in the Welsh town of Porthcall <laughs> are designed to prevent antisocial behavior such as vandalism let's and take, drug taking. Let's take a round in the disciples. <laughs> <laughs> the seaside town is planning to install the public toilets that will stop sexual activity by spraying amorous occupants with water and sounding an alarm. I, I hope they give him a real robot voice to you have been found fornicating. <laughs> like how do they how does the toilet know? The toilets the toilets will have weight sensitive floors to make sure only one person is in each cubicle at a time. Uh, what if any of us go in that bathroom? <laughs> That's Dude, what I was gonna I'm say. Not, I'm too <laughs> You're two people walking in by yourself. Yeah. You're gonna be like trying to pee. Is it any- I'm, I'm going to run into that Walmart to take a shit in an emergency situation, and it's going to be like, I'm going <laughs> to drop pants, I'm going to sit down, it's going to be like, stop, meh, stop meh, fornicating, meh. stop and then it's, fornicating. Like, I'm, not, I'm, not. Not. <laughs> I'm guessing this is to sense when there's 
sex happening. It says any violent movie movement, any violent, movement, <laughs> any violent movie, yeah. any violent movement will set off wa a water jet to soak uh, users, sound uh, alarm, and automatically open the doors. You know what though? If I'm every having every time I shit, it's violent. But there are times I wouldn't mind being getting getting hit by that water jet. That's true, but I don't know about the door <laughs> automatically opening. No, I got I, I got I nothing to care. hide. I don't care. <laughs> hey, look at this. Yeah, the weird part <laughs> is most most toilet doors open inward, so like it's gonna knock somebody out. They said the water jets will also be used to prevent smoking and drug taking, and the walls and floors will be resistant to graffiti. So this is definitely going into clubs. That's what this is doing. Yeah. Bars and clubs. Okay. Um, but also public toilets because they're saying planning documents for facilities. Oh, safety. yeah, man. The Brits rough. fucking love their dogging, man. They love rough their sleepers. dogging. That's what they call that. Not rough sleepers. The dogging, the people that meet out in the middle of nowhere at rest stops. I'm saying rough sleepers will be deterred by a time limit on how long a person can use the cubicles for. <laughs> and a time lock would open and shut the toilets every morning and evening. So no more naps or sleeping over in the toilet. Dude, I I'm see. sorry. No violent movement. A time fucking lock. A time lock. Every time I shit, it's an emergency. It's a violent event, and I'm going to be in there a while. And I see no. I the weight of two people. I am fucked. I see no problems with this ever happening either. No, no issues, no software corruption, no, yeah, you know, no, not at all. People getting <laughs> smacked in the face with the door when they're trying to leave. Fornicating. Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> yeah. One more, one more shitty story. Uh, Oregon woman rescued from septic tank after being trapped in raw sewage for days. Ugh. Oh, no. God, just go ahead and kill me. She was... Um, be worse than cockroaches. How did she fall into a septic tank? Firefighters pulled the unidentified woman from the tank on Tuesday, and at rescue crews airlifted her to a, to a hospital via helicopter um it's hard to tread water while you're vomiting where does this story take place oregon oh okay mm. unidentified woman had been working on the tank outside her rural home where she lived alone when she fell in oh her closest neighbor was over a thousand feet away <laughs> that's not even funny they said the woman's daughter went to check on her after not hearing from her mother since friday oh it's a mom yeah that's just shitty she had fallen through a <laughs> hole in the ground into the tank. Oh, man, Mike. <laughs> it had to be a little old lady, too, because the, the hole she fell through was where the lid had rusted through, and it was a two-foot by two-foot hole. There's nothing funny down that road. <laughs> Your grandmother fell into some shit. Come on, man. Yeah, man, that's a rough one, dude. I mean, kudos to you for finding it. That's great. But... <laughs> Poor mom. Oh. I got one more. Woo! Okay. What do we got? Got to hit on a high note. Texas men caught riding scooters down Milwaukee Highway following GPS instructions to museum. I don't know how often you guys was run it a into Texas this museum shit? they were trying to find. No, they just Texas. I mean, they've been following that GPS for miles. Yeah, and hey, well, it, you're going that far. You, you got to dedicate. You don't get off. <laughs> we are following the course, Charles. <laughs> Charles. Yeah. Um. I don't. Maybe this is just a Midwest thing. I don't know. But I see this shit all the time. People. Chicago specifically has. Um. They've got these these organized uh, crime. I can't think of what, Under but they're. they're <laughs> they're shitty deep they're dish coffee. pizza what <laughs> oh my god their pizzas oh dude their their chili sucks too oh. <laughs> oh, chicago's got bikes that you can uh you can rent and you ride them and and, and like pedal bikes pedal bikes oh, okay yeah. and people there's video of people driving down riding these bikes down michigan avenue because they just go they're following their gps or they're just stupid michigan michigan I mean, avenue needs a, means a whole different thing to mike down there in fort myers 
You don't want to be riding your bike down Michigan Avenue in the middle of the night. No. I, there was the first I had heard of these, but it was the first time I'd actually seen these when I was in St. Louis this weekend. Um, They have, have, uh, their spin is one company and I don't remember what the other company is. Basically, you open up, I downloaded the app because I wanted to do it, but I couldn't get Lisa to do it. But you download the app, you find, and you, it'll show you the closest scooter. Just like a little. Because they're just parked somewhere. Yeah. yeah. No, they're it's like a, the, you the. Follow the app yeah, to like yeah. the little bike. It's a thing. buck to unlock. Yeah. It's, like, it's like going to Aldi. You put the quarter in the thing and yeah. you pull a bike it's out. A, it's they a, don't charge you for while you're using it? It's a dollar to unlock it and 15 cents per minute. So you, so you could go friggin' 10 miles, you know, and a charge, you know. Five, six bucks, depending on how, how fast does it go. Well, let's do the calculations. Does they anybody go- have any scrap paper? <laughs> <laughs> I, but we were the, I saw, I, I saw people go. I think it's a great idea. No, it is. Yeah. Except for the fact we left early Sunday morning to come home. We left early. So we're going through a section and we could see the actual guys that were picking up the old ones. And do you have a, do you have a bad sexual off. experience the night before? Is that why you left early? Yeah, every, every sexual experience is bad sexual <laughs> I, I will say the best thing about hotel sex, two beds, one for sleeping, one for business. You never have to worry about sleeping in the wet spot. All right. Uh, so anyway, back take, to the scooters. Take that, take that out of your set list. <laughs> so um, the, the bad thing about those, those scooters is, like, as we're going through downtown, they're just fucking everywhere. They're yeah. lining the streets. They don't like have them lined up in racks. In Chicago, for the bikes, they're in racks, and you ride them from one rack to, to another, other. and yeah. that's when it yeah. unlocks it. And these scooters, you undo, you 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 scan the a little code on it up for, on your phone. It unlocks it, and then you ride it to wherever you're going, and then turn it off and just fucking leave it there. Say you don't have to like. So, like, if I walk up on a scooter and I'm like, yeah, like, I can't, like, you couldn't have reserved it. No. Like, I'm coming back out in five minutes. Yeah, no. It could I just be had to hit the bodega. Yeah, no, it could be gone. <laughs> or the bidet. Or the robot <laughs> toilet, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need to see one of these things. Well, in, th- in theory, they're pretty damn cool, but in reality, they're fucking just littered all over the street, on all over the sidewalks. They're just laying there everywhere. It looks terrible. All right, so these guys are looking for a so, yeah. museum in Texas, and they end up in Minneapolis. No, no they were from Texas in Milwaukee trying oh. to find a museum, and they were going down the interstate. <laughs> Dude, three miles. Yeah, that, that's, that's all I got. Yeah. Wow. And uh, those are the scooters that they were going down the interstate. Oh, shit. They're like. The razor they're scooters. Like, razor <laughs> scooters. Not, yeah. not like, I, I, the whole time I'm thinking, oh, man. Like you can scooters? Asthma? You can get a Vespa for 15 cents a mile. That seems great. Little razor scooters. Uh, uh, did I just so see on that on that article that the uh, authorities say they tried to leave the interstate, but deputies stopped them? What was that? What's that say? Can you read? I'm looking. So, yeah, uh, right above the picture. To ex- they men tried to tried to exit the interstate, but deputies stilled them first. Were they trying to evade? The deputies, <laughs> you'll never catch us, peppers. <laughs> tried to go. <laughs> they tried to go off road through a park or something. They got stuck in the dirt. They were like, "It won't go." They should have got the goddamn uh, ad thing that comes up on every YouTube video I watch now. It goes everywhere apparently with the giant these, wheel in the middle. Were these guys uh, the skateboard these? looking thing? Yeah, yeah. fucking that yeah, thing. No, no, Tired of that goddamn ad. Not for me. To get where they were at, these guys had to cross three to four lanes of, of uh, interstate where cars are going, up, you know, 70 plus miles an hour. <laughs> it's like fucking real life Frogger. <laughs> That's all I got. That's awesome, dude. Uh, and uh, just for clarification, if those uh, big wheel skateboard motor people want us to sponsor them, then I fucking love them. You mean if they want to sponsor us? Yeah, that. Then old school Mike will try and run his dog with that and eat shit and tell you all about it. Actually, you'll be going faster than the dog, I think. Uh, all right. Well, that was Chad's stuff. And, the dog's uh, really fast, just saying. Yeah, all dogs are fast. <laughs> and they all go to heaven. 
Yay, Chad. I, good job. It's Yay. time. Yay. There was some funny stuff in there, especially when Mike and I were ragging on Chicago. <laughs> that was my favorite part of your entire segment. All right. I did, it was I like did rapid have, fire there for a minute between the two of us. I did have w- one story that I decided decided to skip over because I, I assume Mike might talk about it. Um, you, are you going to mention Hasbro buying out Death Row Records? No. No, I actually <laughs> read that, but I forgot about it. Go ahead, Chad. <laughs> no, nothing else. I just wanted to know your take on that. <laughs> Do you know Death Row Records, John? <laughs> it's like dr dre's old label oh yeah okay yeah. night like hasbro gang- bottom gangster yeah. shit. oh we're gonna get some cool. badass transformer like, crossovers the company the low riders hasbro. big gun sideways yeah. and shit <laughs> yeah they're gonna throw some tupac in the next oh, well, speak, movie. speaking speaking of hasbro like i follow a lot more transformer stuff than you guys do but i'm sure well i hope <laughs> you've seen the fucking and I don't even think it's gonna get funded because it it's gonna they're requiring a certain amount of pre-orders on it. It's a fucking like two and a half, three foot tall Unicron. Unicron. Have you seen it, no, Chad? I have you seen it? it? I mean, I oh. saw the head and it said Unicron, biggest Transformer Dude. toy All ever. Right. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm gonna look it up here real quick. Shit, shit turns. It, I mean, Unicron turns into a goddamn planet. Yeah, it's it's massive. He doesn't turn into a. Uh scooter does he but they uh no but they have to get a certain amount of pre-orders in order for it to happen and it's like retail price is like 750 you don't think there's a bunch of rich ass transformer fucking nerds that are gonna pre-order like a bajillion of them i am not one of those rich ass and their mom mom well that's a very small picture god damn it Um, it looks like unicron though now it's it's full on Unicron. Um, Look like, at that! That dude is so metal it hurts. <laughs> but and I don't mean of, metal like he's made of metal. I mean like fucking like horns up Danzig metal. <laughs> like this gives you an idea how big he is right here. Hold on. Like this was the prototype. This is this is the size of the thing. So look at this size of this guy. This is the size of the fucking Unicron toy. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty big. Yeah, now, it's... Uh, when we were little kids, they had, like, Metroplex or... Um, that what were, was the, they came up to about here. <laughs> yeah, what was what was the other dude? Uh, the, like, tank that went around it? Oh, uh, Omega Supreme. Omega Supreme. Yeah. Like, I remember being a kid and being like, they're so big, I want one. Yeah. 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 yeah, Metroplex, this, and then you had the uh, essentially the GI Joe aircraft carrier. I was just gonna oh, say, yeah, grown ups. Except it retails for seven fifty, but it won't even sell if they don't get enough pre-orders. So, how much did the, how much did the aircraft carrier sell for? It was about one fifty new. Yeah, back, back then. then. So one fifty new, thirty plus years ago. Yeah, yeah. If you if you have one of those, if you can find one with all the parts, it's a good seven eight hundred dollar toy right now. Is it really? Yep. Yeah. 150 bucks 30 years ago for a toy was the equivalent of like a freaking 400 3 or 400 dollar toy. As a one week one week paycheck at least. Yeah. 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 But I mean and this thing but there there's no I mean with the exception of maybe your son, John. Like my kids wouldn't know who fucking Unicron was and they've oh, seen the movie like I love my son but I want that fucking thing. I, well, the, prob- well, the problem I have with it—that's like, what I'm saying. The toy is made for you. Yeah, it's absolutely. Made for a kid. There's a there's a YouTube video online showing transformation on it, and it's an oh, unpa- right. it's an unpainted production uh-huh. model. But like um, Mike, you might know this word, Chad. You probably don't. Um, it is 100% a shell former, and a shell former is where. The robot over something else, right? Is, the robot is basically behind a shell of whatever it transforms into. So you've got this giant friggin' planet, and like all the panels of the planet fold back. So like the back of Unicron is this giant backpack of folded up panels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no other way to do it, you know. Yeah. I... But it still looks badass. It's got fucking. Ar- Articulated, articulated all the fingers are articulated everything i would love to have it but yeah that's like at least it's a little less than one paycheck so no yeah it's too rich for my blood they're all too rich for my blood i can't i don't know i just can't i it could be that i don't have anywhere to put them but i have one like, shelf yeah 
right here. One day I'll show you guys. So I like I like looking at them online. I like hearing about them. Like when wanna, you, put, you know what you know what the here's the like, thing to look do. At what came oh, out? But Mike, do you want the transformer or do you want the shoes? I'm not gonna and I'm I'd not gonna endorse. I'm not gonna endorse this, but look at knockoffs for the masterpiece transformers. Uh huh. Tons of guys are buying the knockoffs because they're just, especially if you're just displaying them. Yeah. You know, if you don't transform them too much, yeah, they're using somebody sneaking into Hasbro or Takara and stealing the molds, you know. Or they're just, yeah, or they're just buying one, taking pictures and 3D printing that Mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. And like, you know, you transform them a bunch of times and they fall apart. But if you're just displaying them and they're like, you know, three quarters or a quarter of the price. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyhow, right, um, so that's what I need to start looking for. Knock off transformers like I did as a kid. <laughs> just on Amazon. Look up KO. Yep. Anyway, your turn there, Mikey. And you've got an intro, which I also don't have queued up. Yeah, do Mike an intro right now. Yeah. Wiggy, 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 wiggy. Come on, keep going. <laughs> You're not. Nice. No. That was really good, good dude. <laughs> Mike's got stuff to <laughs> talk about, and that's all oh, Chad's got. <laughs> all right, so uh, tagging on to uh, your Sony Spider-Man debacle, uh, there is a debacle. rumor. Uh, debacle? No, uh, uh, you don't remember the Debacle Society? Yes, oh, I do, yes. Okay, yes, all right. Um, we're not talking about that now, though. <laughs> I've still got the folder. Oh, my God, no way, really? With all the applications, yeah, somewhere that is amazing yeah um yeah this has to do with that sony debacle um there's rumors Hmm? that spider-man comics Hmm? might be canceled for a little bit if if they follow suit if if marvel follows what they did with fantastic four and the x-men as well they did it it with fantastic four they did it with wolverine anyone they they don't own they're gonna fucking yeah they said we're just you know with Wolverine, the X Men, and Fantastic Four, they were like, "We're just not going to do these books for two we're years. We're not going to put any money into them if we have if... different teams that don't count." Yep. And uh, let's see how that goes for you, Fox. And, and uh, look what happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, they're talking about canceling like every title though, like Spider Man, Spider uh, Miles Morales, Spider Man, Venom, <sighs> all the little smaller titles. Like, there's there's one thing I forgot to mention too in the the whole Sony. Uh, Marvel thing, and I'm gonna let you finish. Yeah, no. Um, something that really, really motherfucking pisses me off. Okay. Stan Lee's daughter is has, angry. Yeah. Has jumped into the ring and saying that Disney has disgraced her father and never gave him any respect for those creations that he made. Blah 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 blah. So how much do you figure Sony paid her? Because from what I understand, she's a money grubbing bitch. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I've I've but heard that. Took advantage yeah. of her father and her mother for years and years and years. If you're if you're gonna think about it that way, um, I mean, you know, dude's been in every character, every movie that's been made of a character of his. He's had a cameo. They gave like, him the entire in credit her... scene in front yeah. of Captain Marvel. Yeah, like I mean, he's. I'd like to think that was pretty well respected. <laughs> But you being but, the Stan Lee expert, what do you know about his daughter? I don't. Okay. All right. Because from what I've read, I've heard conflicting shit. But from what I understand, she's always been a giant money-grubbing bitch. Yeah, me being, honestly. Me being the Stan Lee... Um, hater? I don't want to say hater. Biggest like her. Um, number one super fan? Uh, maybe number two super fan. Because I think it was kind of shitty at some things. Did you just say number two super fan? I may have mumbled that. <laughs> he doesn't even have the hat on tonight. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I've heard she is quite the money grubbing asshole. So how much? How much do you want to bet that Tom Rothman was like, Go, "We got to dig ourselves out of this hole." Somebody get Stan Lee's daughter on the line. Wrote a or, fucking check. Or she just decided that she needed to open her mouth because there was no, I mean, you know, Stan's there was dead. no cock in it there's, at the moment. There's still, there's still a, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of there's, me. Oh, I mean, John, no, Stan Lee's daughter not going to do the show. Well, she can't there's, do the show with a cock in her mouth. There's still a Stan Lee Twitter. Has it stopped Mike? And. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Irish cow. Whitey, tighty, tighty, tighty. <laughs> Can I work up a pot of gold? <laughs> All right, go ahead, Mike. We keep interrupting you. Uh, yeah, no, man. Just that I, I found that interesting. Um, you know, a, probably what they're going to do, they're going to do kind of just like that. They're going to phase them out, yeah. and they're going to introduce a cool new character that just happens to be like a teenage kid. Like Sleepwalker or Night... Uh, what, what were those ones that came out Night in the 90s? Monkey. Night Monkey. Yeah. Night Monkey. <laughs> Night Monkey, oh. save us. Dude, if... if, if Was it Night Thrasher? Marvel, uh, Night Thrasher was like a skateboarding superhero that came out. In the yeah, 90s. but we got like number one issues in the nineties. Yeah, we got Sleepwalker. Uh, yeah, Sleepwalker was like a like a ghoul looking dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, purple purple hoodie thing. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, there was a bunch of that shit. So it is what it is. Yeah. That that was the that was that part. Um, here's something interesting: Florida man story, sort Ooh. of. Um, the Florida state prisons, the uh -oh. correctional facilities have banned several comics and graphic novels, including, get this. The Boys? Absolute Watchmen. Yeah. Adventures of Superman. The cartoon version? I don't know. Adventures Play. of Superman is the, the comic book based on the animated Superman, correct? You would think, yeah, because yeah. Adventures of Batman was. Right. Uh, Blade books, uh, The Walking Dead. What? Uh, and Stan Lee's How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way, which I've that's never That's not understood. even a comic. That's a book on telling you how to draw. And I've never understood that because Stan Lee was a writer, not he an didn't artist. Draw. Yeah, I've never understood that. But, he wrote the book on um, how to draw. Dude, he was a marketing motherfucking genius. Yeah. Basically, Florida State Prisons have been accused over the years. of. I mean, they've done this before. Um, it's basically a way to stop publications that are critical of, I don't know, like the prison system. I mean, the walking, imagine that the walking, the walking dead. dead was in a prison, but it was after zombie apocalypse. That doesn't have to do anything with administration. No, but there's still like, there's still people like murdering and, and rioting and like, it, it might just, there's give like them four people left in the prison. I know. I, other band publications in the past include, uh, here I'm reading a list. Uh, the the disciplinary self help litigation manual. So basically, okay. like you're a criminal, here's how to maybe get yourself out of jail. The federal prison handbook. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to read the book that that tells you what your rights are in a federal prison. Um, yeah, basically. Uh, and and this one struck me the funniest. A uh, complete guide for beginners and advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Are there prison riots? In Dungeons and Dragons, because no, I mean, watch hey, if you could. if you think if you think LARPing is stupid, you've never seen it in the prison yard. <laughs> I love listening to somebody <laughs> with a somewhat Uper accent say LARP. LARP. It was LARP. a LARPery. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I, I don't know. I I found that all very interesting. Like, why ban? I mean. When there's so many other things that need to be probably fixed in our prison systems. Prisoners can get TV. You can't read fucking Blade. I mean, it just seems stupid. I just, if they're going to ban violent books, they should just ban the Bible. They don't get much more violent than that. Ban, it's true. You no, know, Why don't they ban letting, like, why don't they ban guards letting inmates fuck other inmates in the ass how about how guards, about we ban that before guards letting folks? how about letting guards inmates hung them to hang themselves what about yeah. guards bringing in contraband for right. the, for the guys yeah. i mean that's what like, i'm saying just, why don't we start with that before we start with the you know the funny books my next topic is going to be a big one which may cause a conversation with us i'm not sure well uh, that is the we'd goal. hate for that to happen all right, Mike, so you want to talk about the most shocking death in comic book history, in at my least, opinion. At least for a couple of years. Before you say it, though, I have to say I've switched to Highland Brewing, the Clawhammer Oktoberfest, seasonal. Some okay. Some and lager. Anyway, you doing the old uh, Oktoberfest? Uh... They do this every year. It's a... Uh, it's Clawhammer. Seems, a little, very good seems a little early for Oktoberfest. 
Oh, uh, well, whatever. About you're, a month. You're not the mid-September. boss. Mid-September. You're not the boss of Highland. So you guys have heard about Alfred dying. I mean, John, uh, I know you did. <laughs> I know y'all heard about it because I sent you the goddamn picture of Bane breaking his neck. Yeah, Jared. Uh, Jared had sent it to me first that morning, and I was like, I'll get around to seeing what this is. And then I looked, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? What What do we think about Bane snapping Alfred's neck? I, You know, it's hard to get good help. And when people <laughs> just go around – killing your employees especially That's enough to piss a guy off he's a professional manservant too he's not just some guy off the street his his entire family were serving other people um here's my thing out of everyone because i knew like i'm not reading right now but i knew through the grapevine that there was a death coming uh, i didn't in the bat family uh um, yeah the rumor was out there that it was in the wind and okay. i i thought any I never even thought it might for be. like anybody but Alfred. <laughs> right. It's Alfred. He's been there for goddamn ever. I mean, he went evil for a little while in the 70s, I think. Well, yes. Uh, Alfred Alfred died once before. Yeah, but it wasn't. Uh, yeah. Sacrificing himself. And then they wrote him back as a split personality and he was evil. And, you know, so, I mean, this has been done. But this is a full before, on death. But it, not. But not like this. Like he got a hero's moment in that death in the like late sixties, seventies, whatever it was. I'm gonna throw up the picture here. Hang on. Keep talking. And yeah, like he he was sacrificing himself to protect Dick and Bruce, you know. And and really back then what it came down to was the comics code was like two guys can't live together with an older male in the house. <laughs> taking care of him which is why aunt harriet ended up in the book just like on the tv show and everything did she really else. end up in the book i didn't know that she was in the book for a while yep all right i've got, um, the, I've got they the, also introduced uh like bat girl and bat woman and fucking bat this and bat that all at the same time too it was like I've, let's I've, do anything to show that they're not gay <laughs> like who the fuck cares man dude whoops people's ass that was all because of that book the seduction of the innocent mm-hmm mm-hmm I've got the picture right here, Chad. Uh, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. So. And the sad part was like, Jared shot me the picture and he was like, did you hear what happened in Batman comics? And I was like, no, I haven't read Batman comics for a couple months. And, uh, well, cause I sent it to you and I was like, is this why you hate comics right now? Yeah. 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 And, and I saw it and I was like, oh shit, I guess I'm going to have to pick up my books this week. <laughs> And then I found out that it happens in fucking Detective, which I mm. don't buy. I buy the Batman title itself. Right. So I'll see ramifications, but I'm not going to see the death because it's got to be going up in value already because of a print run. Oh, hell yeah. Now, that, I, was, I was super surprised about that. I think I actually texted you guys where I was like, you know, Robert Kirkman. I wrote the most shocking death in comics history and in dc comics hold my beer yeah yeah you know <laughs> yeah because honestly it came out of nowhere for me i was like i texted i texted my son while he was in school <laughs> he, he just sent back no <laughs> like like so alfred's dead <laughs> yeah see my kids wouldn't care i'd be like can you guys believe alfred died they'd be like he's alfred <laughs> in in honor of alfred i'm thinking about growing the uh Mm, the the way. Back. Mm, that's not bad yeah he should it's he a should. good laugh you kind of look like the animated alfred there. honor honor the man yes he does yeah he does a lot actually Ephra ephraim zimbalist yeah. jr did his voice like, like yeah. uh animated alfred oh, had a baby with uh with will sasa <laughs> <laughs> that's you that's that's not bad <laughs> it's uh Just throw, throw it up there uh yeah, there you go mm, master wayne Hmm. <laughs> he even got the slight like pout of the lips a little almost, bit, a little bit like, and it arched yeah dude all right so yeah, alfred's I mean, dead how long until he comes back i mean how do you bring him back like lazarus fit i mean it's like, comics i mean so far the only one who hasn't come back is uncle ben yeah pretty much i mean because it used to be uncle ben and bucky they were the only two in comics that were never going to come back what about Jonathan back. Kent? Have they brought him back in Superman? Yeah, but he's, you know yeah, what? But, you know, that's my my big argument. You don't want to get me started on this. Every know, time a goddamn movie guy comes in, he kills fucking Jonathan Kent. Um, they'll bring him back at some point for some reason. 
But so far, Uncle Ben's the only one who stayed dead. Do you think Alfred stays dead? I think if you really want to honor the – well, if you want to honor the character, you wouldn't have done it in the first place. Fucking Bane – I mean, Bane broke Bruce's back. Now he fucking snaps who, Alfred's uh, back. Who, who I mean, wrote this? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Nope. Sorry. I mean, I could look it up, but I'm not nah, going to. Or do, do they bring him back? Because they, they, brought, they brought Uncle Ben back, but not the real Uncle Ben. Didn't they bring back? Uh, They've never brought Uncle Ben back. Not even that, I, that not I'm even, aware. Of. Not even a clone or an alien or any, like a what any, if or something like that. Maybe, they, but they no, never not, brought not up. in actual continuity. Do you huh. know, Mike? You're a Spidey guy. Nah, I don't I'm know. I'm trying to remember. I I don't I remember it, but I I figured they had to have at some no. point. No, those those were the two golden rules. Was was Uncle Ben and Bucky, and I mean, Bucky took, Ben just brought back. Yeah, it it took a long time. For, for Bucky, Bucky to come, come back, back. Mm-hmm. and it was a decent group of time before Jason Todd came back. Right. See, that was the other one we thought was going to stay dead too. And they, I mean, they did a lot of good retcon work with that mm-hmm. character. He is yeah. a much better character than he was when he was. Oh, absolutely, for absolutely. Red he Hood. He's a shit kid. Yeah. Like now, he now he's cool. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Alfred, but, I don't, I don't know, man. Like you almost need to just let him, let him be. Just yeah, but you need, you need Bruce. You need Bruce to lose his shit, though. Well, that's. I mean, there's no way Bruce, as the character Bruce Wayne, Batman, does not lose his shit. I well, mean, he just lost his. He lost his father all father. over again. His, yeah. his mom and dad died, but he was a little kid. He really kind of, you know, he's like, how many years? This, did yeah, Batman? Alfred is his father. Alfred has taken over that mantle, and and I mean, he raised him. He trained him. He yeah, helped. but. He helps with missions constantly. Yeah. Well, but he also lost out on like 17 to like 25. Yeah. Because Bruce was traveling the world. But yeah, but at that point, nobody yeah. talks to their dad anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless you're old school Mike and then you don't talk to him from way early. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I just wonder. Yeah. Lazarus Pit is definitely a way to bring him back. And I can I mean, see that going that direction. But then, but then it's almost. And I mean, they could certainly do this. DC Publishing, if you need a writer, hey, old school Mike, um, you know, or you, drunk hello, or, or drunk hello, yeah. or fuck, why not just three the hard way publishing? We'll take it ah, over. We should do that. We need um, to write a comic. They, uh, you know, I mean, you could do it almost exactly the same way. You bring him back to Lazarus bit. He's demented. He becomes a villain for a year so that you don't know who it is, which is exactly what they did before. Yeah. Okay. Did they, they do that? They did that in the seventies, but they also did it. Oh no, I'm thinking of when um, uh, the injustice, not not injustice game. The um, what's that alternate Earth with um, Power Man, Power Woman? Oh, the yeah, like the Owl when Man. They, when they man. came over and took over, uh, Forever Evil. That mm-hmm. was the, that was the storyline, and their Alfred was evil as fuck. Was a dick. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, and that's another way to do it. You might not get same Alfred back, but maybe you get Alfred from d- a different world. I think they. I think they probably went into this realizing they're going to have to bring him back at some point. We shall see. Mm-hmm. I just thought it's a big thing. It's a big death for comics. Might that's as well fun. talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, that's a that is that is that. that, is that. Uh, there is a really neat thing that i discovered i probably could if i could see all of it there there's a really neat thing that i discovered today called hold on let me go back to basic porn hub no um <laughs> it's called the hard times well that's close can you oh, see yeah, it? yeah yeah no yeah. um yeah this chris is, chris keeps throwing these people up this is straight up the onion but yeah. for punk rock and music yeah, yeah. like like this Burning Man, not what it once was, says first time burner on second day. <laughs> My favorite. And he's a right? senior Amazon engineer. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's a really good one. Where is it? It was um oh, this one. They might be giants. Hold on. <laughs> they might be giants fan. Not sure if record <laughs> is, kid, is for kid or not. And it straight up it goes in and you I thought when I first saw it, oh, it's just a little blurb, it's a joke. No. Yeah. Full on fucking stories. Dude. Yeah, no, it's the onion. Yeah, it's it's really good. 
I, it's, it's really it, good. The, the dude is a really cool – it's two guys that created it. Um, the one was on MC Lars' podcast. I was listening to it. And, and he invested a bunch of time and a good grip of money into it to get it. And it has just taken off like, like yeah. gangbusters. Yeah, our buddy Chris um, that we had on the podcast years ago that used to be mm-hmm. on Buddha, Buddha Boys and uh, Ask Men – that's podcast. what he keeps posting. Yeah, he I keep seeing posted. them and I'm like, holy yeah. shit, those are so funny. I did not put two and two together that yeah. I was just talking about the same thing. Mm-hmm. Cool. Anyway, uh, that being being punk rock-esque in, in its nature, um, that's going to go into our music review this Yay. evening. Uh, tonight, I am going to take you gentlemen in a time machine. Let me take you down, cause I'm going to... Not that far back in time. Oh, no strawberry Um, fields? No. We are going, uh, we're going back to 1987. All right. I was there. Um, I lived it. 1987 to 2002, maybe 2003. Return of the Jedi, right? This band was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, This band that I speak to you about, gentlemen, Mm -hmm. is called Fugazi. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Lead singer. Fun away. (laughs) <laughs> lead singer no, Ian I, I had a story i gotta tell mike about after this <laughs> oh okay um lead singer ian mckay he uh he used to be in a group called um uh, minor threat mm-hmm. which was really big in the punk scene and stuff yep um awesome group dude started his own record label uh discord records they are <sighs> they're just fucking awesome group dude they're fucking they're punk uh, but but very melodic mm-hmm. i don't know i got a couple different samplings uh to to share with you this evening let's Sweet. see if i can actually figure out how to do it with just the audio this time so it doesn't come across stupid all right so uh the first song by fugazi um it, it's called waiting room. I learned of this album. It's, it's from two EPs that they put together and called 13 songs. When I was a kid skateboarding, I was riding around with a friend in his car and we were going to skate and he put this shit on. And I was just like, who was that? friend? Uh, Chris Volk. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know if this is for me, but I really like it. And I had heard minor threat before from like skateboarding videos and shit. Yeah. Anyway, this is waiting room. I could get into that. I think I pretty. Uh, I, I think I have a Fugazi shirt in my closet right now. So really, yeah. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah <laughs> oh I'm that. like, ooh, new band. Uh, they are. <laughs> they they are an awesome group. They're a lot of fun. They um, remind me of. Well, I, I would assume that the, the the like I've talked about Descendants before, but mm-hmm. I would assume that the, the Descendants took a lot of inspiration from Fugazi. I actually, the way I around. actually think that I, I actually, if, if I'm knowing the time frame right, Descendants started pretty early. They were like, so it was early. other way around. Yeah. I, I think it just happened to be like Fugazi came up in, they are a Washington DC band and yeah. the Descendants, I don't honestly remember where the hell they're from, but I want to think out West somewhere. Um, I could be completely wrong, but similar, similar sound, that whole punk rock, but mm-hmm. melodic. Mm-hmm. It was, it was, kind was of like, a lot that happened to us in, yeah, in high school. That was a lot that was going on. Um, yes. Ned's Atomic Dustbin, uh, things like that, that where it was, it was punkish, but it was melodic at the same time. So, no, it's a, that, that is very true. Now, I, the next clip that I have for you is 
not a whole song. It's just a little teeny tiny segment because to me, it sounds like another song very much that came out like, I don't know, 10 to 20 years after this one. Okay. Um, it's called Shut the Door. Yep. Um, just see if you catch anything. I played it for my wife tonight and I was like, listen to this shit. And she was like, okay, it doesn't sound at all what you're saying it sounds like, but it sounds like this. And I was mm. like, okay. So yeah. here, let's, let's see. Shut the front roll. door, Chad. We're going to roll for about mm. five seconds and it's going to start right now. So, not so much the, she's not moving, not the Nirvana. But, okay, you said Nirvana too. My yeah. wife said Nirvana. I think it sounds just like almost the exact same chords and chord progression as Foo hey. Fighters. Foo Fighters, my hero, no. is what I hear. I, I have to agree with John. Hey. Yeah, see, that's what my wife said too. And I was like... I don't Sell hear that. the kids for food. Okay. Now that was on in utero, or was that? No, I think on? that was. I think that was on the the big one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Um, this album came no, out. No, not never mind. Remember what it is. We're having a fucking discussion here. <laughs> Mike. Get to the topic. That's Just because you don't know, topic. don't change the subject. Um, yeah. That was that was in bloom, wasn't it? Uh, possibly From Nirvana. Yeah. Yeah. See, to to me, every time I hear that song, I hear that Foo Fighters, just that little riff of the well, guitar. I'm like, and I understand there's only so many notes. There's only so and there's many chords. and there's only so many members of Nirvana in the Foo Fighters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and and so like that's how I've always thought. Thought I'm like, okay, you you can't get Nirvana without certain bands. You can't get Nirvana yeah. without the Pixies. You can't get yeah. Nirvana without Fugazi. Or mm -hmm. even minor threat, but Fugazi more because it's more melodic. As, as a punk band, mm -hmm. traditional punk, like you almost don't know what you're doing. You almost don't know how to play. You know three chords, and you're just powering through them. They opened yeah, like up, Green Day. They opened up that world. You know what I mean? Green Day, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, they've um, gotten they've gotten better. They they've made a Broadway show, but when they first started out. Three chords, three power chords. That was it. No, it's it, it's so true. So you're saying I mean, you're saying the Broadway show was an improvement? That was good. I, was it really? I'm not. Was it though? I'm not the biggest fan of that album. Yeah. I, I'm not the biggest fan of anything past the first two Green Day albums. I'm a big fan of Broadway. But mm, really, I, no. I get that. I mean, whatever, dude. It is what it is. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I, the next uh, the next clip up. Um, is bad mouth i think it's bad mouth uh this is this is another song from that 13 songs album thing that they put out it's just really neat i don't know a lot of the music it like all music and i'm sure you guys see this too when you listen to shit things can be interpreted however you want them to be absolutely now, That's the artist the, key of music. the artist yeah the artist makes the music and ian mckay mckay whatever the fuck his name is i don't know how to say it but it's Ian McKellen. He played Gandalf. He puts it out in the world. The band puts it out. Emotional Residence. This is what we're playing. This is what it is. This is the lyrics. And y'all decide what it means to us. There's a ton of shit that's like, this is what the song's about. This is what I meant. And then, you know, it almost doesn't matter because you hear it. Like, if I hear certain songs of theirs when I'm in a good mood, it pitches one way. If I'm in a bad mood or sad, it pitches another way. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, here's Bad Mouth. Sweet. In three, two, one. It's good at this.
if I dig into this closet over here, I probably have a couple of Fugazi CDs. That would be awesome. I didn't know <laughs> that you. I didn't know that you knew them. I didn't know you liked them. I didn't. Uh, no, no, that's not a bad thing. I'm yeah, just no, saying, I'm, you know, that's, that's not no, like, I, a, God damn it, Mike, bring no, us stuff think, we don't know. I think, I think it's awesome. No, yeah, um, you know, it, it's that song. For me, it's it, it's another one of those things that just kind of hits you. It's like you Chad, can't. Be, can you? Can you dig through your Tracy Lawrence CDs and maybe find a Fugazi CD underneath it? Uh, I, although I, I think I, I don't think I've ever listened to the guys. I okay. honestly don't. No, this is a good one, Mike. This is uh, hey. stuff that I'd like that I would have I would have liked had I known of them. It, it's funny that you that you're doing it though because like when i you know i just talked about cleaning the garage because they're like a 30 year old 40 year old no, band it's, it's not that it's that i just talked about cleaning up the garage and i also <laughs> built a couple of uh uh cornhole boards yeah and uh the whole time i've got my phone with pandora and i'm listening to an rem station on pandora sure. which brings up actually it threw up some fugazi but it brings up the cure it brings up fucking morrissey like yeah. all the shit that we grew up with Mm -hmm. like at least our formative years so it's no, funny, yeah, it's it funny that you're bringing something in that um that reminds me so much of the time we grew up in well it's funny how that works too because you know and I'm, I'm talking more about the music and my views of the music rather than even like anything about the band there's a whole bunch of shit they're real political they yeah. you know i mean anti-capitalism anti-religion they were they were punk rock like punk rock they were real punk yeah you know absolutely. um now <clears throat> it's funny that you bring that up because the next song i'm gonna play um reminds me totally it's this the same wheelhouse as like the pixies where is my mind mm -hmm. or um the smiths if you know the song uh sleep like sing me to sleep um it's it's softer it's it's a bug in my ear. <laughs> cockroach. cockroach. <laughs> Watch out for spiders. Um, I had to take my headphones off because I heard a squeaking, but uh, apparently it was, it was just a, a cockroach. Yeah. You know, I gotta get the babies out. It, it totally, it, it totally harkens to like all of that same type of feeling to the music, which does bring me right back to my youth, and it brings me back to. I, I, I hate to say this song in particular brings me back to really really shitty times that i've had in my life yeah, in but, the last 10 years but, but at, our, at our advanced age even looking back on the shitty times is sometimes good yeah yeah i it, it's it's interesting this is a whole different world than what we've heard previously in mm. the selections um uh this is a song called i'm so tired and it's a little long it's a, like a minute minute 30 maybe uh, I think I cut 20 seconds of the song out because I was like, well, where do I cut it? <laughs> anyway, here's I'm So Tired. So we're not even worried about being uh, flagged on YouTube anymore. We're just like, we're, fuck it. Dude, we get flagged for everything <laughs> I do. I don't think it's it matters. Like we're making any Yeah, if you play anyway. three seconds, we get flagged. Yeah. So just yeah. fuck it. Play the whole song. Yeah. Like I, I, and that's just it because I do three songs. I try and keep them like in the 45 second Doesn't range. Matter. Doesn't, matter. Doesn't matter. It's our algorithm. I don't want to play whole songs because it just takes up so much of the show. Yeah. But anyway, here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. This time Lost my own return In spite of Everything I've learned I hit my tracks Spit at all my own of all my care, my care. I love a deep tune. the 
Now, I didn't stop that that way. The song just ends abruptly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, he hits that last note, chord, whatever the fuck it is. I don't know, music. Well, like, like I said <laughs> in there. And it just, it just drops out to nothing. Like, song's over. Fuck you. I'm dead. Or I'm in a heroin coma or whatever. I don't know. But, yeah. Well, like I said there, if it, wasn't, if it wasn't for Fugazi, we wouldn't have nirvana we wouldn't have green day we wouldn't have third eye blind who totally stole most of the chords from that song or how's it going to be mm -hmm. um but yeah they were a huge influence and absolutely yeah wonderful yeah i mean and they continue on the guys have all done their own projects and everything two side notes along with this no mm -hmm. music just conversation piece uh oh. around 2011 2012 nice chat uh yeah. Okay. right back at you um there's an album that came out called wugazi mm. it's fugazi songs that they up and sampled and yeah. did Wu tang lyrics over the top of <laughs> yeah. that song i'm so tired they do uh, Wu tang has a song called uh cream which is cash rules everything around me and they have they merged the two of them i swear to god it is amazing the whole yeah. album's pretty good right. that song in particular check it out on youtube check it out on you know, line, whatever and i know we're, we're we're all products of like musically typically we're all products of the ages where we really discovered music now mm -hmm. i like everything i love classic rock i love everything this particular fugazi that that whole that 120 minutes era mm -hmm. sure is like I mean, it's like going back to the well for me when I listen yeah. to Pandora that's, or whatever. That's well, the shit that I love to listen to. And a lot of it has to do with you, honestly. When you and I met, you opened me up Because I to, just had a shit ton of opinions. Me, I made well, everybody listen to what I wanted to listen to. <laughs> you opened me up. That and skate videos opened me mm -hmm. up to a lot of music I never would have been open to. Like you were joking about the um, that website and the They uh -huh. Might Be Giants. I Countless hours listening to uh, Flood. They might yep. be Giants Flood. Yep. Flood you know. and Lincoln and yeah, I mean they're all and descendants they're all and yep. you know everything that it, uh, Ned's Atomic Dustbin I mentioned before. So yeah, this was great. I love this interview. Or, uh, I see. This I see a direct interview. correlation from Fugazi to like everything. Nirvana yeah. to um, the fuck is uh, Pearl Jam, Eddie Vedder's band. Mm -hmm. Like you don't. But even get, but even for further down the road, like I said, Third Eye Blind. Oh, that yeah, song, no. I'm so tired. Yeah, that song, I'm, I'm so tired. Those chords are the exact correlation to how's it going to be from Third Eye Blind. You know, I mean, so you, I mean, now, granted, like you said, there's only so many chords, especially when you yes. only know three. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's true. I mean, if you only know so much music, you can only make so right. much. Music. But you can't tell me that Third Eye Blind didn't come up listening to Fugazi. Oh, probably. Or Nirvana or, 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 or Yeah, or they listen to the guys that listen to. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, that's Absolutely. that's everything. I'm sure I'm sure in the country world it's like that. So and so made a song. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So and so listened to it. Well, Chad and, would be able to tell yeah. us more because he's a racist son of a bitch, but <laughs> 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 you are you, you are. I'm, you call me racist son of a bitch. I, I was joking. Had, I just had an experience this weekend that I need to share with your one black friend. You have With a my one, my, my one black friend, uh, actually, uh, my two white friends that I'm talking to right now. Uh, one of the one of my favorite breweries in St. Louis. I went to this weekend. Uh, Four Hands. You guys ever heard of them? Uh, fan, it, great, great brewery. In uh, beginning of this month was St. Louis Craft Craft Beer. Um, they're the Craft Beer Week. Um, I didn't get to try one of one of these because it was uh, it went that fast. But okay. Four Hands made a Shakur beer and a Biggie Smalls. Oh, it like was, Tupac and Biggie? It was, f dude. Was Shakur, it a straight up beer battle? Shakur, Shakur was a West Coast IPA, and Biggie <laughs> Smalls, Biggie Smalls, it was like a marshmallow vanilla chocolate imperial stout. Yeah, no, that's thank you. funny, dude. Biggie went like that. Mm -mm, nope, they're completely out. Did they not? What did they have uh, with Fugazi? No, I'm just Fugazi saying. Fugazi Did they have like labels made up? 
Yeah, dude, uh, it was uh, I like I said uh, day before yesterday. I had uh, the Shakur on tap. It was fantastic. Um, what was the name of the brewery? Four Hands. Four Hands. We'll put it in the description. That's this was really, the, uh, that's really funny. That's interesting, dude. That's the Shakur label. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah I haven't sense. I haven't seen the uh, the biggie because they're out. Yep. That's well, Mike, super. That's thank super you for interesting. Fugazi to people who may not have listened to Fugazi. Hold on, real quick. I want to tell you about something that I found out today while hey, I was I was going through YouTube in one of my YouTube spirals, trying to figure out which songs I thought were really going to show. See, and I always end up when my spirals, I always end up watching people pop zits and cysts. And, oh yeah, I know. We've talked about this. Yeah. I found something on the internet which, if you like the music of Fugazi, if you're a fan in the past. Or if you from this somehow said, hey, Mike's right. I'm going to listen to it. There is a band called Fogazi, F-A-U-X. Not real Gazi? Like not real Gazi. <laughs> um, but they make a documentary called Fogazi. This is not a Fugazi documentary. <laughs> and it's basically a bunch of fans and this band. And the band lets people come up on stage and sing the songs because everybody that's there for a cover yeah. band knows every fucking song. Right. Yes. And they go through this whole thing and I ended up watching the whole thing. I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. And they get to the very end of the movie ends with that. I'm so tired song. And it's got the lead singer. And he's like, what's really crazy is that song has been covered more times than any other song we've ever done in so many different interesting ways. There's this really <laughs> neat girl that does a version in her bathroom on a ukulele. I watched a couple years ago, but it's in the video. It's really good. Um, but he's like, the funny part is, like, I did that song by myself at a piano, which Chad said, detuned piano. Kind of yep. sounds like it. Love and detuned piano. They it, was, never, it was not a detuned piano. It was just an untuned piano. They never play Paid that song live. So for it to be the most covered thing, and if you pull up I'm So Tired covers, yeah. you're going to find, like, a hundred of them. That's a good song. Yeah. And they don't do the song live to promote it and haven't done it really live to promote it. I just found that super interesting. Anyway, yeah. Fugazi, Fugazi, Fogazi. Fugazi. Fogazi. Check it out. <laughs> we will. All right. Well, four, three, the hard way. I am John Laurie. I am old school Mike. And I'm out of beer. So Aww. it's time for us to quit. And now the beer is near. Oh, wait, no. The beer is gone. All right. Uh, so, uh, we out. Bye-bye. Mr. With Read the Hard Way. Wiggy, 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 what up? What up? <laughs> oh, so wiggy, what up? I think I have a new thing next Let's, week. No, we're not flashing gang, sign, gang signs on the podcast. I'm putting a foot down. I want to see if YouTube does anything. <laughs>